Welcome to Conscious Reconstructions Podcast. And look at that. Over there making faces. <laughs> Like, what happened? <laughs> Why did I want you to interrupt? I didn't even look at you. I didn't even look at you until you made the noise. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. As normal, interruption interruption to indirectly do it too for the intro. But mm. I guess we should go with some news. At least he will no longer be uh, doing the show. She has some personal commitments that she um, needed to take care of. Well, so we wish her the you, best. Baby. <laughs> oh, she's making noises. And that's yeah. Ash. <laughs> what? I said, and that's Ash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. Oh, well, there, yep, there's some more of that. Mm-hmm. And Jones is in the building. <laughs> oh. So, so uh, you know, <laughs> I'm here too. You were the only one that said things. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. It would be the only girl in here. It's like no balance now. She balanced uh, okay. the feminine part. We can get another woman. Yeah. I mean, you could pretend. I could pretend what? <laughs> that you had those experiences in your life. Lesbian experiences? Yeah. I'm trying to get that goal accomplished. So here's the plan. Uh, I've never had a threesome and I've never been with a woman. So I'm trying to knock that out. Two birds, one stone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, so I'm trying oh, to get no. it all out in one move. Yeah. <laughs> and I also don't want to eat a girl out and be bad at it. So she look at me like, Psh. oh, so, try not to bump the mic. Okay. Because you were. Uh, that, so, yeah. That's you. <laughs> okay. Just all thought right. I'd let everybody know since we're so close. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're practically family. I support that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, um, bucket list. I have some science. Ooh. Yeah. Fucking! You sent me some shit last week. I know. Okay, it's what I want to talk about. All right. In Georgia, there is a monster known as the snakehead fish. That um, the Georgia government has issued a order of if any fishermen catch it, they will kill it immediately and freeze it. And take pictures of its mouth, fins, and feet. Mm-hmm. Because that nigga can breathe on land. Mm-hmm. And <gasps> it's eating everything. Ooh. So it's just going from water to land, just killing and fucking up everything. The snakeheads. All right, so snakeheads, right? So let me tell you, like I said, you sent me the story last week. I open it. I'm like, well, why is he sending me a story about snakeheads? Now, to me, snakeheads, like, since I watch like a lot of stuff about like fish and shit, they're like not that, even supposed to be in Georgia. No, they're not supposed to be on this side of the fucking world. They're from Africa. They're supposed to be in Africa, exactly. And they ended up over here because they were pet fish and people started fucking releasing. I fuck they with can this. walk on land. Yes, they can traverse. That's how they keep. That's how they're like. That's how they're spreading. Because, like, they can live in really low oxygen water. So, they can live in, like, little mud holes that's about as big as, like, two or three feet across because they can breathe air. So, the water doesn't have to have oxygen in it. And when that mud hole dries up, they just get up on land and start squiggling and moving and pulling themselves along. And eating shit. Yeah. Sounds great. Like, they eat more than piranhas. Piranhas just, like, eat till they're full. And any (laughs) environment that they end up in, uh, they end up eating and fucking it up yeah so they're rampaging all through south america and it looks like they finally made it to the north americas being in georgia yeah they're in georgia uh, fucking shit out right now and a lot of fishermen fish for them is like uh they're also in uh s- a maryland other states yeah they're in a couple other states yeah because he because uh, uh cause i was watching this video the other day and dude was fishing and he caught a fucking snakehead he's like i don't know if i should kill this or not another invasive species but I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean? You're you supposed know. to kill those snakeheads are invasive. I hope you lose to your this license. whole side of the fucking world. I hope you lose your fishing license. <laughs> so yeah. they're invasive fish. They're from and Africa. How you not gonna kill them? They're not supposed to be here in Africa. They run amok. Like they bite people on their feet and shit. I watched <laughs> a whole River Monsters episode about snakeheads. <laughs> yeah, in nah, their native home where they're supposed to be, they run amok. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty getting an apocalypse. I support these snakehead fish. Yeah, so that's what I found. <laughs> and they're that's pretty damn big too. Like really? they get like a foot and a half, two feet, maybe three, something like that. 
That's yeah, a big so ass fish to be walking around biting people on their feet and shit. That's what I found. Are they yeah. venomous or anything like that? No, just, they just, just got sharp ass teeth and they can move on. They can just bite. <laughs> yeah, they can just bite and kill things and live in water or land. So evolution, right? No one needs that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even belong here. You're not supposed to be here. So that's oh what I have God. for science. <laughs> that's what I want to bring up. These goddamn snakeheads. They don't fish. even belong. Go yeah, home. Out. Yeah. Like, Go home, Roger. They just out here killing shit. <laughs> Go home, Roger. Like, who? Who invited who you for real? <laughs> Big facts. Like, that's not necessary. Well, why do you want you here? At all. Yeah, but that's, um, those are snakeheads. Snakeheads are a menace. To the side of the world, they're running around eating natural fish populations, and mm. nothing really eats them because they get really big. So, hmm. you know, they just do what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. Um. <laughs> Talk about just yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the snakehead fish. First of all, I thought he was just joking when he said snakehead fish. I'm like, this sounds like some made up shit. What no, no, that's no. A real fish. no, it's real. It's, it's a devil fish, fish like, that eats shit. Body looks like a python. Like it has the same markings on its body as a python and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Or real similar to it. So yeah, they kind of look like pythons moving through the water and shit. It's pretty, pretty terrible. Snakehead fish. Dun, 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 dun. Fucking <laughs> in his own cartoon. I don't know. Yeah, it just sounds sound like something Riley would draw and be like, "My look, I drew a snakehead fish." It was like here, like, "Oh, baby, that's a dope snakehead fish." Thank you. And then went on about her life. I but mean, another, yeah. I'm show <laughs> did you. that sound real? You laughing? Snakeheads look pretty damn vicious. I'm looking at them now. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it just didn't. It don't sound real. They look very much like fish, and you know that's pretty dope that they like could breathe. Out of water. Pretty exciting times we no. live in right now. Just niggas need to go somewhere. <laughs> go I first yeah. heard about them on another podcast from niggas that actually live in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And the one nigga was like, I don't understand what's the big deal. He's like, you know, they got alligators and shit like that down in Florida. They're like, but that's not where it's at. It's here. Right. He's like, what, what do you mean? Where is it at? Here. It's like, in Georgia. <laughs> He's like, wait, 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 wait. So this whole time, these motherfuckers out here? <laughs> yes, nigga. Yes. The entire conversation is relevant because they are in our backyard <laughs> where we live. Chilling. Ready to bite you. Yeah, yeah, no. But I just I was like, that's crazy that they can crawl on land. That's fucked up. They gotta go. I mean, don't, don't like there's other fish that can move on land too. They gotta go too. But they they not this. This is different. This is like a little ravenous play. It's like water locust. Yeah. <laughs> I have exciting news. Oh. So Riley's down with the cyborg movement. And she asked me. She sat there. She was like, Mom, t- we all going to die or are we all going to be robots? I'm like, we probably all die. She's like, nah, we about to become robots. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Well, you know what she's going to do. See, your yeah, daughter she's knows. Like, no, we your to be daughter robots. knows. Because your daughter is a G. I'm about to make you very happy that I, she's I'm damn proud. sure I'm proud trying of that. to be a fucking robot. She's not trying to Who die. wants to be a human? Hmm? Who wants to be a human and die? Not Riley or Tony. That's no. two confirmed people that See, I know. your daughter... Okay. At such a young age is already with the shit, you know. She, she definitely understood. She's like, she's like, you know, robots are coming. <laughs> That's a fact. So this death thing seems like it's less and less like a fact. <laughs> I'm gonna just go robots. <laughs> she, nah, it's like she really looked up. It's like, nah, we ought to be robots. That's a great segue into what I got to talk about. Oh, so I'm asked this question again because. I ain't asking on the podcast. Okay. So, if you had the ability to see in different wavelengths, would you be able to? Or would you take that ability? Or take that chance? And what I mean by different wavelengths, seeing like infrared, night vision, and things like that. I would. It don't sound like it's a negative to that. As long as I can turn it off, do I constantly have to see that shit all the time? No. But if I could just be like, I could just... 
Damn, you gotta see that shit all the time. Ooh. I assume they would develop a way to get to a point which you wouldn't have to. Right? Like glasses. So what's the question again? Glasses. Would I want to see the full <laughs> spectrum? Yeah, like all the way. So like infra- infrared, infrared, gamma. Yeah, all that X-ray, all that. Yeah. Okay. So over in China, you know, fucking don't, Asians, nobody, don't nobody do shit over here to, in our country. I don't need to just cut that shit off for what? <laughs> Why though? Like I don't want to see night vision all the time. I don't give a fuck about me, what I don't see at night. Realistically, the way that I'm, it probably would work. Mm-hmm. So if it's just something that you have. Is it's going to activate in those areas? You're going to just be able to see those things mm. because if it's a biological feature, mm-hmm. then you're not gonna have night vision in the daytime, or you're gonna burn your retinas. Your your body wouldn't set itself up like that, right? So it's gonna just activate when you need it. So at night, shit gonna be real bright. It's gonna be cool. When the fuck do you need to see infrared though? At night, at when night? you cooking? Oh, that's what it is. Because infrared, like infrared, is is a form of night vision also. Okay. Or when you're cooking. Yeah. You'll see temperature. You'll see the the meat temperatures and everything like that. Oh, that'd be, that'd be the chef to be able to see infrared. You can see how hot it's something It's done. <laughs> yeah, for real, like, uh, it's done. That's a little too hot. Is he even Take cooking on the off. inside? That shit's raw. Take Imagine it off. Gordon Ramsay yelling at people and he can God. see an infrared. He that do that shit now and no he can't stress, see that shit. Right. He just that nigga it. don't need no yeah, more see, stress. Yeah, see, look, that should be amazing. Yeah. Anyways, see Marcus now. I'm mad that I explained it out off. to y'all niggas, and y'all niggas are like, you know what? Yeah, this I do need to know when my burger's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, niggas. So much. <laughs> but I forgot that that was the where it's like blue and green and the yellows and mm-hmm. stuff. Okay, that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah, don't sound like a bad idea. You can see things China and things like that. Oh, that should be so lit. All right, so scientists in China have been um. <laughs> Hopefully they come up with a better way of, uh, you know, starting this process within humans. But they took some uh, nanobots, mm-hmm. um, injected it into some mice, which allowed the mice to be able to see in the different wavelengths by, like, um, connecting themselves to the retinas. And as the eye would receive the light, they would just, the nanobots would just change the wavelength and send the electrical message to your mind. To allow you to see it in that way. I see that involves putting some foreign in my body, so no, I do not want to. <laughs> uh, did y'all see that bloodshot trailer where the Vince, what the fuck is his name? Um, mm-hmm. Bald dude. Damn, he was in pitch black. Um, Vin Diesel? There you go. They took the book and bloodshot, and it's about like nanobots. Like they take that soldier, mm-hmm. fill him up with nanobots, and now he's like a super soldier. I'm not putting. Those fucking foreign ass things in my body. <laughs> so what I need you to, what I would need them to do is give me the nanobot technology, mm-hmm. and allow me to create my own nanobots. Mm-hmm. So that way I can make sure that these bitches are programmed the way that they need to be. Because the issue is in nanobots. It's <laughs> who's programming them <laughs> and what they program to do. Give random bitches nanobots. I put a nanobot. In <laughs> nah, that cause bitch. like no, that, and that's the and that's the thing. Cause now you're messing with nanobots, right? And like he said, it's don't not about it. the nanobots. It's about the programming. Uh-huh. And because if you have a nanobot that's uh, smart enough <laughs> to go about his own business. Now we have things that can interact with the world on micro levels, atomic levels, that are machines. And what are we doing right now? We're working on quantum mechanics. And what does quantum mechanics do? From what I understand now, mm-hmm. receiving information, right? Yeah. The, um, it transfers, it allows it so yeah. machines or like computers see things at one zero zero one zero one zero things like that. It would be able to superimpose the one and the zero to move the information faster. So it'd see like uh, one zero at the same time opposed to seeing it as one zero one zero is he one zero one zero zero one hmm. if you kind of understand what I'm saying I, it's kind of hard to explain without actually being able to like it'd be able to see out. it in triple time yeah like how you can niggas rap in triple time it'd be able to see it in triple time there are things that like for example there'd be like certain problems that a computer would take 10,000 years to solve that it would take a quantum computer 200 seconds to solve okay Tony, I'm not giving you none because of Because it can box. process information so much quicker. 
I'm gonna get nanobots. No. Mm-hmm. No. I see you doing stupid shit now. Let me tell <laughs> you like, about the I'm program. This once nanobot. I get to the full version of my cyborg, it's gonna have a compartment where my hand slides in and it goes into tentacles, and those tentacles are gonna pierce and then release nanobots into things. You just be fucking with bitches. I'm gonna program this nanobot. Make her orgasm every time she say my name. Watch this. <laughs> just What's ignorant. wrong with that? <laughs> just That'd be good. What you having just a ignorant. good time? Oh look, y'all. She about to say my name. <laughs> Watch. This. I'm not gonna tell anybody. I don't like to share in my like secretive stuff. Like, I know you don't. I'm so, just say that's just some shit you would yeah, do. Yeah, I would be watch this in my head because like, <laughs> I can't never share. Like, I don't know. I've always been the type that's like. I'm going to go do something wild and crazy, mm-hmm. but I'm going to go do that wild, crazy shit completely alone and not tell nobody about it. Okay. That's how you get, don't get caught up in shit. <laughs> but no, see, like, this is something that's, like, real crazy, though, right? Because think about the applications just outside of just, like... I'm going to turn your skin green. <laughs> what the fuck? The crazy shit you can do. <laughs> like... Um, just being in the dark limits humans a lot, even though we can produce light. Mm-hmm. Imagine, uh, like, okay, I hate to go to military first, but military. Anybody that's on, like, ops missions and shit like that that have to be through the military, go through, like, forest jungles and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You don't have to have fire. You don't have to have any form of light because now you have night vision. You can actually fucking see at night. Right, right, like right. in pitch blackness, you can see. You look like you see like cat see or any other animal see picking up any little bit of light and turning that into something. You know, well, I could probably see ghosts then. Yeah, yeah. ghosts without any fear. I'm sorry, that's weird. But you anyway. probably could see. But you probably could. I never thought about that either because you're looking at things on different wavelengths, and if they're in a wavelength that we just can't Holy see. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm an X man. <laughs> see, but you gotta get nanobots, Ash. Why now she said she can see. She <laughs> said she can see ghosts right now. <laughs> When's the last time you saw a ghost? The uh, last time I saw a ghost. Yeah. Mm, uh, when I used to work at Safeguard, I saw one. He was always walking around. No, at my job, it was this disgruntled ass driver that would bang on the door, and I told him like, "You need to go because this is retarded," and he left. Fucker. They don't make him come back. No. I told him to leave. You need to get on with your life. What you hanging around? Yeah, don't be hanging around. Don't hang around. Yeah. That's what goes all the time. Get the fuck out of here. Like, why are you... The biggest thing about talking about with dead people, you know what their biggest gripe is? They didn't do enough. I'm like, what else are you trying to do? Go. Everything. Move on. Nah, fuck that. No, just go. Nah, I'm going to be here. What? 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 You trying to take I'm care of a garden? My yeah. Nigga, it's oh, a flower. No, Bye. I'm going to kick it. Hmm? I'm going to kick it. <laughs> if, I, if I die... And I have the choice to kick it. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna kick it. You ever think? I'm not gonna fuck with nobody. I'm not gonna do no, anything. No, I am. Kick it. I'm gonna be the nigga the- banging. I'm gonna be the the truck driver banging on Ash's doors and shit. For what? Just or whatever random person is working wherever. Oh, nigga, that's because so good. And if they can talk to me, then I'm gonna have a conversation. <laughs> and you're gonna be like, why are you here? And I'm like, think about this. <laughs> I know the layout of the land, and you can't fuck with me. But I can fuck with you. Don't that sound fun? No. You ain't never wanted to just fuck with somebody and never have no retaliation? Just be like, I can do this. That's if you're not aware. See, I'm very aware of the things that I deal with. So yeah, but I'll you, fuck with you back. <laughs> but you can't do nothing to me. Like, I'm you a You can't do nothing to me for real, but bang on doors. And I'm going to knock your papers over. <laughs> so? <laughs> Would you go knock over a bot? I ain't got shit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, get the fuck off. Get, really get on with like, your life. And I'm going to tell you no, and I'm going to knock really? some bullshit over. <laughs> I'm bored. Yeah, I would be like, no, nah, I'm here. But that's the thing, though. Like, when you hang around those type of people, like, when I get to hanging around them, it just feels so stagnant. It's not, like, fun, like how y'all saying it. It's, like, extreme boredom. And I can't stand it when they put me to those places because I'm like, I got to get out of here. You niggas is bored. They think playing Scrabble is still the hottest shit ever. It can't be, my nigga. Go in a body or move the fuck on. <laughs> it's the craziest No, it's all about feeling. Scrabble. Hmm? It's all about Scrabble. It's the craziest thing. Like, that shit. You don't, you don't want it to be about Scrabble? Hmm? You don't want it to be about Scrabble? I don't know what it's about, but the feeling, like, is just straight up boredom. Like, they it, don't know what else to do. It, yeah. I mean, if I ain't got nothing else to do, and I'm not really trying to fuck with the that. Niggas go to pool parties and shit. Like, that's it? You ain't tired of fucking pool parties? How many pool parties did you have in your real life? 
All do you them. still want to do more? I was like, oh, every, oh. Every one. I was like, you niggas think the Astro plan is all it's hyped up to be. Well, it's different levels anyway, but that level that I be on, I fucking can't stand that fucking level. <laughs> I be for real like, I got to get the fuck out of here. You niggas is boring. No, that's a cool level. They chilling. No, that's the level like literally just above this. So I need to be fucking with the other ones. Because <laughs> the one just above this is so boring. Come on, Ash. Mm-mm. It's so mundane. It's so fucking cool. You like mundane. Hmm? You like mundane. Mundane is good for you. It's safe. Are you trying to like hypnotize me? I like mundane, Ash. <laughs> this is great for you. No, well, I don't want to Look into the red. <laughs> Everything you need. <laughs> you like it, Ash. Yeah. You got that big dumb smile on with that voice. So China is allowing us to get infrared vision if we let them put nanobots in us. So that's a good no. But what else is going on? Um, hopefully we just do it ourselves and we'll be all right. I'm not letting the U.S. government put nanobots in me either. No one can put it in me besides me. I don't know. Pause. I feel like that's a pause. <laughs> Is it? At least you look recognized for yourself. I, I like can't say pause. I feel like other niggas got to say pause to each other. So that's between y'all. I feel like I can't call you out on being gay because I'm a girl. Do that make sense? I feel like I will say no one's going to put it in me, but I just feel like people <laughs> going to put it in me is just still like a, a pause. He's supposed to pause you. I can't do it. He, like, no, I'm supposed to pause myself. No, you're, supposed to pause <laughs> you're, supposed to pause yeah. you're supposed to pause yourself. Oh, it's personal responsibility. Yeah, yeah. It's a personal yeah responsibility. you got to take ownership. Oh, I thought somebody yeah, else was like, supposed to say it. Because then the nigga next to you be like, nigga, you ain't say pause. <laughs> and then he has to say it. Oh, see, look. Yeah, I don't then, know. Because you don't say pause, then it could be taken as you saying some gay shit. Yeah, I don't know etiquette like that. Sorry, guys. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, Ash. <laughs> but uh, what else is going on in the science world? So, over in Italy, but we don't do shit but uh, space exploration and things like that right now. Um, They're developing a synthetic artificial leaf mm-hmm. that um, does photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. And creates an artificial um, clean burning fuel that doesn't um, synthetic fuel that's not coal or petroleum based and it doesn't uh, release carbon when used. <coughs> um, it's basically what it, is, it says is you know you take the new leaf, you dip it in water, and it's powered by sunlight. Mm-hmm. It can still operate on cloudy days. And it can produce sustainable Cygnus, which is like the fuel, without releasing any carbon dioxide into the air. Nah. <laughs> what is up with all this fake shit? Like, I was walking through Walmart the other day, and I realized, like, you can't even get glass, like, Mm-mm. Christmas bulbs anymore. Or I was walking through this baseball field, and, like, the whatever that green shit was was fake. I was like, ooh, everything just becoming so plastic and fake now. Yeah. Yeah. That's not healthy. Gross. Yeah. That's super unhealthy. Like, what is our obsession with the artificial? I don't get that shit. It's not that it's an obsession with the artificial. It's an obsession with perfection. Think so? It'll never die, never grow old, never yeah. be young. Yeah. It'll always look just like this, how I wanted it to look. Yeah. yeah. Don't think it's on like change at all. I mean, it comes along with our advancement in technology also. That's really creepy, and I don't like it. We're starting to apply technology to everything you ever noticed. Like yeah. Now we're starting to apply technology to ourselves, because along with the nanobots, you have the brain interfacing that's still being worked out. Along with the nanobots, the nanobots are also able, they're working on able to uh, use the nanobots to give you psychokinesis. Mm-hmm. Um, and other things of the sort. So it's a lot of wiring the brain to technology that's going on right now and super endurance with the like full body suits and shit like that for the military in which they're kind of like it is mech so suits ex- in a sense it is so exhausting they're real clanky up. but you know they're getting there and then they're getting like <laughs> they have like the smaller like frame type suits that are supposed to like add strength and endurance to you so you can run faster and things like that. You can lift weights that the normal human body wouldn't be able to lift by itself and things of that sense. So 
just want to go faster. Yeah, we're just stronger. we're starting to apply technology to everything in life. And think about it now, like we're like the real last generation that came up without like modern day technology. Yeah, I was just thinking about that the other day. Yeah, because we grew up, we grew up into smartphones. Yeah, we grew and into that shit. And computers and the internet and things mm-hmm. like that. Everyone being born like after that, they're growing. They come into this as technology. Yeah. This is their everyday life. Like we were talking about kids earlier and how they just go on phones and watch videos. That was not a thing for me when I was a kid. I had to watch whatever the fuck came on TV. Exactly. We had no choice in that uh, shit. Or like, go outside. Uh, I had to be <laughs> like, here at this time. Yep. Or else I was about to miss or that I shit. Or I wasn't catching this show. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Technology is being applied to At everything. least they used to play them back to back. Well, not back to back, but they would give you like a cycle, a show, a show yeah. cycle. You would have like four or five shows that played in mm-hmm. a little cycle. At least with Toonami and shit like that. And that's all I cared about back in the day. Yeah. Like, I know what time my shows were coming on, and I'm there to watch my shows. we go about my business. Yeah, and but that was like slavery. Even for the youth. I so. mean, but that makes sense why TV marketing was so effective back in the day. You got to sit in front of this bitch. Mm-hmm. You going to be here, so you going to see these commercials. Pretty much. Like, I wonder about that. Like, I wonder how my daughter is being affected by marketing now. Because I know, like, like I said, it was just you watch the show for 15 minutes and then five minutes ads is just that programming. But now I wonder, like, damn, is my daughter affected by marketing in the same way or is it going to be different for her? It's different. I think so, too, because, like, I had to remind her when she, like, watches little family videos and they all go to, like, Nickelodeon in like Dominican Republic or something like I gotta remind her like it's just entertainment Riley that is not how these motherfuckers really live this is super heavily edited down yes it's cool to go there but I got to keep reminding her she's like oh okay or like when they have the sponsorships in the videos and stuff like that or it's just different because we don't watch a lot of TV anyway but they still find a way to market in those fucking videos that's yeah. found their way out Oh my god! So, I know, paid to get those. Really you know, the ads fans. never oh, stuck to that. a media. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Mm-hmm. Most ad people are dumb. Like coming from like a marketer, we're really like. So there's a school of us that are with the shits, and then there's the mass majority of us that are like, uh, we're gonna stay on TV, mm-hmm. and we're gonna do like traditional mail and <laughs> email Newspaper. ads and shit like that and, and banner ads <laughs> on the side of your fucking billboards thing okay. or not even billboards but like you know when you're on a website and it just has like the little ads on yeah. the side <laughs> who the fuck ever clicks on any of those nobody now if you're smart enough <laughs> exactly so no i mean but some of us are marketing like on TikTok, mm-hmm. it's the fastest growing social media platform right now yep. for the younger generation. I've had a TikTok account for three years. People are just now talking about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what was you doing on TikTok? Watching it grow uh-huh. and understanding that, oh, this is the place that I should be if I want to market things. Okay. Like, I'm always looking for what's going to be best. Like, I get a lot of tips or whatever from Gary Vee, and it was something that he talked about a while ago. And so I was like, let me go on. And what he was saying, he's like, if you don't believe me, he's like, just go on to the iTunes store and look at the top 10 free apps Mm -hmm. and see how that looks every quarter. And you'll start to get an idea of what's really being fucked with. And then you can engage with those certain social platforms. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're marketing at. So, I mean, but if she's on Facebook and I want to target you, I can say run this ad to people who have this interest or work at this company. And if you work with that or have said that, oh, I'm interested in these type of things, it's going to go to you, but nobody else. Mm -hmm. Only the people that fit these boxes. So it's much more targeted marketing if they're willing to do the work. So it's kind of half and half. A lot of it's like just going to bullshit in the wayside, like these YouTube ads that we can skip. But then other people are really like going to the places that people are at. Mm. So she's definitely getting marketed to. It's just 
yeah more specific towards like shit that she said she's already interested in because like you don't be interested in shit that pops up on these youtube or tv commercials like they don't know who they're showing their shit to so it's just like spray and pray right the other ones are very like oh no i want you to see this i want you to read this i want this because this might be something that you're interested in that's how i see all the that's like when people are like i don't know why i see all these video game ads and shit like that on my instagram or my social medias and shit like that or the little mobile games Mm -hmm. it's because they're paying because you said you're interested in games Mm -hmm. and they're paying to target people that are interested in games to see these ads you the niggas are seeing it somebody said they were interested in cooking they seen some cooking shit like niggas are literally paying like oh these niggas are interested let me go show them that i have this so yeah that's how it says she's been marketed to if she's on social media okay like all the other shit is it's cool but it's not super effective except for the super bowl yeah, Super Bowl is still effective because it's less about the Super Bowl and more like a cultural event still. Mm. Like, niggas are going to watch the commercials or want to see those commercials because it's like a thing. Yeah, I know people that just watch Super Bowl. They don't watch the Super Bowl. They watch the commercials in the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. So it so that's probably the only thing on TV that where you're going to really get your money. Or you can find certain niche things. Like, I would have paid for, like, if HBO was, like, somewhere where you could get ads on I'd have paid to have my advertisements on the season finale mm-hmm. of Game of Thrones because everybody watched that. That's just like the Super Bowl. If I can market there, that's why people thought that Starbucks paid to have their st- coffee cup in the episodes <laughs> because everybody saw it. Everybody's talking about Starbucks. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Don't companies spend most of their money on marketing? That's like the biggest expense. One of them, yeah. Okay, so it's not the biggest. I mean, it depends, really. Like you spend a lot on marketing, Mm -hmm. and then I would say you probably spend a lot on research and development. Oh, okay. And I guess you can call that a part of marketing, but it doesn't always have to be because you could be R and D could be like your new target demographic, which kind of falls under marketing but it's not necessarily because it could be a new product that you want to bring out and figure out how that works so it could just spread into a lot of different areas so it can get expensive but marketing definitely because you have to people dump a lot of money in it because they don't really understand how it works Mm -hmm. and so they'll just spend a whole lot of money to hopefully get their like they don't really understand like there's no real like ROI or return on investment like exchange for marketing. Right. So they just throw lots of money at it. Yeah, that's what happens. Okay, now I understand. They're like so niggas are getting got for like TV promo like I wouldn't be advertising on TV. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's like no one's really watching no. it anymore, is they? No. They leaving that shit but it droves. Right. But what else is happening in science or is that it? I don't no, know. That's more. Um <clears throat> well, this is kind of just a thing, so uh, I'm gonna talk about it for a hot second. Then I'm gonna go on to the next story. But uh, scientists then created a blueprint for um, a quantum battery, and which is a battery that never loses its charge. Um, the only problem with that is they haven't figured out how to discharge it yet without breaking it so you know i'm gonna talk about that more when they get that um discharging it you mean like cut it off yeah <laughs> why you gotta cut it off i don't fucking know they just haven't <laughs> found a way to discharge it without breaking it though. so they wanted to make a battery that they never had to cut off mm-hmm. and the issue that they're having is the fact that, that they can't figure out off. how to cut it yep, off without breaking it well, maybe it doesn't have an off state since it's a battery that never cuts off. I, maybe that's just, you know, the logic in me, but whatever. <laughs> Science be funny to me uh, about the second. Yeah, like, I'm so confused. Yeah, so like, that's why I was only going to talk about that for a second. Cause. <laughs> like, you nigga said, it was like, we made a battery <laughs> to never lose its charger. Yeah. You're going to use this battery forever. But we want to cut it off. <laughs> why? 
if it stays charged eternally, then it never needs to be cut off. So what's the issue? Is it like a safety thing? Do they need like an automatic shutoff? Because I feel like if it's a battery, you could just yank that bitch out. No, it's a quantum battery. So, you know what quantum batteries are for? What? Things on a small scale. So, no, they can't just yank that bitch out. Okay, well, then send that shit to space. <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny. It doesn't weigh a lot, so we should be able to get rid of it quite easily. Just shoot that bitch into space. <laughs> Is that not an option with little things? You don't have the big space button. Like, just put that shit in the space bin and shoot it off. (laughs) Oh, that bitch full again. Yeah, I feel full again. Y'all already know how I'm giving it up. Yeah, a lot of shit is going to space with Tony. (laughs) (laughs) Every time he get mad at one of his employees, like, yo, Rebecca again, put her fucking spur her purse in the space bin. That old hoe. Throw her in the space bin. Throw that bitch in the space. That was terrible. But no, I'm saying if it's really tiny (laughs) and it's a quantum battery, (laughs) then it should be able to be able to get the fuck out of here. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong about that. And so, realistically, what's a the only thing that I can think a quantum battery is used for is nanobots. The only real dangerous issue with nanobots is if they start trying to take over. So send them bitches to space. (laughs) What the fuck? Nanobots so Is that space. not what they're going to use the fucking battery for? Well, yeah, that Okay quantum yeah. Computers. yeah. <clears throat> so the fucking nanobots <laughs> That they need to be able to control Because the quantum computer is not doing shit You know You know what makes me really scared What? I feel like You were always watching a thing about uh, X-Men the other day Yeah You were always watching uh, the Motherboard and all that shit Yeah I'm like, I feel like quantum computers is going to be like that And they're just going to start making motherfucking nanobots <laughs> That's going to be good and we're going to get that whole sentinel thing popping off. But we, instead of mutants, mm. it's going to be humans. <laughs> hey, hey. I'll be an Omega Sentinel. That's a I bet you would. human mixed with nanobot technology. Yeah, I know. No, Ash didn't. She looked at me like, what? Yeah, I was what? like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, uh, are you going to explain that to people? <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, human mixed with nanobot technology. So, All yeah. that stuff I was just talking about that That bloodshot trailer That came out Yeah So I would I mean if Mother Mode Is here taking down niggas And it's either be enslaved mm-hmm. Or Be half cyborg Like I want to be anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No don't make me half cyborg <laughs> Fuck is wrong with Man, you No don't do that <laughs> I'm hunting I you niggas be down human. Yeah I'm hunting you niggas down <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for them yeah, what the fuck are you talking Look, about? Look, hey, sir. No, no, I'm not even looking. At? I'm not even looking for them. I'm looking for you niggas that's not trying to transform. <laughs> you hum- humans getting put in the cages. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, hey, I've been saying that I wanted to be a cyborg. Well, this so is nothing new. When it becomes a possibility, and the cyborgs are like, "All right, you can be with us." But you got to put the rest of the humans in cages because they don't know how to act. I'm like, you know what? I've been thinking they didn't know how to act my entire life. <laughs> Where have y'all been? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You know I hate people. Yeah. Yeah. So why do I hate people so much? I like people. That's I wrong. like them. He said, that's wrong. <laughs> I didn't know that was a multiple choice. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. that's, that's just no. No, I don't get it. I don't necessarily hate people. I just feel like I can do without them. No, people are actively trash. They okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other topics? <laughs> I'm about yeah, to debate so this. Yeah, so I have one more. This is kind of my, uh, just my little bullshit at the end because this would be it. Um, so a lot, there was something that uh, our billionaires are up to this week. Mm-hmm. Um, crack? No, nah, <laughs> Tesla, Tesla's being environmentalist this week. So he's rolling out his third uh, installation of solar panel roofs. Um. He's planning on popping these boys on a thousand roofs a week. <laughs> no, a month. He said a month. Yeah. Okay. After production goes out, this this is model three. Um, they will come with the installation warranty of up to twenty five years. That comes with uh, weatherization to one hundred thirty miles per hour, wind resistance. You know, uh, things of that sense. It's uh, basically they're you know solar roofs. Power your whole house. They come in different designs, so they can actually look like roofs if you want them to. So your house doesn't look like a shiny rooftop. 
But yeah, um, he's being an environmentalist this week. Like I said, he's trying to you know get people to. What use is that dude's energy. mission statement? My nigga, why, why, like I. <sighs> You said what? I just want to know his mission statement. Like, what are you trying to do exactly? Well, right now he's this trying to trick people. I'm telling space. you, man, these white people are trying to leave us. They not leaving before right. you. <laughs> I'm tripping, man. Look, I'm trying to tell you. They can't go nowhere. They, look, he giving everybody solo rules, trying to make everybody think everything okay. While he's still working on his rockets. <laughs> he's not going nowhere. He's not going to be on Mars next week talking about some of y'all. What's up? I'm on Mars. He not. No one's that, going anywhere. Going to Mars. I ain't say look, they ain't even gotta go nowhere for real. They can just go out into orbit. Guess what I can't do? I can't go out into orbit. He not, ain't not leaving. <laughs> Promise you that. <laughs> you gonna leave it for him. He not gonna pop up on the podcast one day and be like, Yeah, it was chilling on fucking Saturn. Like, no. No. They're gonna be chilling in the fucking uh space station <laughs> that Bezos built that no one knew about. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You don't want to be in the space station? Who, me? Marcus. Nah, I just want a Dr. Stone reset. I mean, I'm with that as well. That's what I want. I want a Dr. Stone reset. Yeah, I can fuck with that. Space station sound boring. You said what? All that shit sound boring. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking hover around Earth. And I'm not even scared that they going to leave us like, oh, no, don't leave us. We helpless. It's just mm-hmm. they gonna leave us because something gonna happen that we gotta deal with, and they gonna have to deal with it. Mm. And I'm mad y'all ain't gotta deal with it. I'm shoot y'all down. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gonna deal with this shit too. <laughs> Try to sit back down here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> They're not going nowhere. He's dumb. All right, man. Okay. Well, I'm I done. guess it's my turn. <laughs> I guess it's my turn. <laughs> I have some questions. Okay. Hopefully, okay. I have some answers. All right. So my first question is. Is not identifying as something the same as not being identified as something? Is not identifying as something the same as not being identified as something? Mm-hmm. Can I have an example, please? <laughs> All right. So if you haven't had like an upbringing or experiences that people would call like the black experience. So you don't have like your quote unquote black card. Mm-hmm. But you identify as black, but you're not identified as that. What? Okay, I get what you're saying. I don't. Maybe Marcus can explain it. Okay. What if you're... Okay, I'll give you a different example. Or, so, let's say... Okay, perfect, because Tank just talked about this. Let's say you've sucked dick a couple of times, but you don't identify as gay, but other people label you as gay. Mm Mm-hmm. Is that the same thing as you being gay? Oh, because somebody else defined you as that? Is it your definition or is it other people's definition that defines what you are? Oh, okay. In a sense, I guess. Like perspective. In a way. Yeah. Kind of. But other people's definitions are going to influence whether they treat you. Mm-hmm. So which one really matters? Does it matter how you see yourself or does it matter how other people see you? Me personally, I think it's about how you see yourself other people are going to see who's going to make it a tad bit more difficult but which one are you more worried about your integrity or how other people view well, the integrity of you that dives into a whole nother aspect of just you yourself mm-hmm. how you feel about yourself i mean if you're a type of person that's able to you know be comfortable and how you feel about yourself regardless of how people feel about you then it's how you define yourself right but then if it's the other way around in which you you define yourself by other people feel about you then it's however they look at you because now they're saying like if you find you see yourself as straight but everybody's like oh you're gay you're gay you're gay Mm -hmm. well then you're gay they're the other people though yeah but theirs could be just as fleeting at the same time, but you care about their opinion. Right. It, it, that's why that I say. It determines how they're going to look at you and how they're going to treat you. That's why I say opinions. That's why I'm saying it all depends on like more about how you feel about yourself than versus. Right. And opinions <clears throat> don't really matter. I can, like I said, I had opinions about black people circa 2016 or 50, whatever the fuck. <laughs> and they, it changed dramatically. Mm-hmm. So if you let somebody else's opinion change one moment, you gay and the next minute you straight, next minute you homophobic, next minute you a fucking tree. 
it means nothing because <laughs> it changes so frequently. So they can say whatever they want. And yes, it will make your life a little bit harder. But at the end of the day, you living with you. They don't. How you identify, you know? Okay. I don't remember what made me think of that question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wrote it down no, at the beginning the of the week, but I don't remember what sparked that idea. And I was just like, I wonder. Because, yeah, it's like, because I know there are ramifications still, mm-hmm. like, if other people label you as something. Especially, oh, I remember. What if you're labeled as a transgender person and you don't identify as that, but now your life is threatened? Mm-hmm. Is it more important how you identify or how other people identify you? I still think it's the same thing. Well, so yeah, I still got a lot. Of, like I said, it depends on how you feel about the situation. I mean, but feeling the way that you want to feel could lead to your death. So and it's like a commonplace thing. Like, there's a transgender woman burnt in a, alive in a car. Mm-hmm. There, and I was like, maybe three weeks to a month ago. And there's been like, 12 such or so instances just like that mm-hmm. all based off of them just being transgender people right especially the so yeah you might identify as that but is being identified that the best thing oh for worth you? it okay i see what you're saying yeah. you gotta choose i choose what i identify as and i gotta know the good and the bad to that person yeah it's kind of like what i'm thinking about right now because it's like at the same time, yeah, it's, I still say it's more about how you feel about it. Because realistically, when it comes to that situation, then it's like, well, am I going to let that affect how I live my life, essentially? Right. Like, you just got to. So, and people still choose to be feel the way they want to feel and be the way they want to be, knowing that, like you said, there's things that come along with it. But, I mean, if you want to live your life and be happy the way you want to be, those are things that just come along with it. Right. <clears throat> That's like asking me to tell y'all, like, y'all can choose to be, I don't know, a male feminist or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know the ramifications if you choose that. If you choose to identify as a male feminist, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of clout from the people who want to give you the clout for that. But you also going to face... The other side of that is people who don't not, agree with it. Well, at the same time, I'm not saying like mm-hmm. the consequences, like the con- like I'm not even gonna call them consequences, just the ramification and things that happen because of your choices. I'm not saying it's your fault because people are like just people have their opinions, people have their feelings, and people are just trash in general. But like, um, I don't know. I was gonna say it's also like even if we take it off of like trans the transgender community, we can say like light skinned people who pass as white. Mm-hmm. Is it better for them to live in the world as a white person, or identify and be identified as black? Because mm-hmm. that can that's it in itself is dangerous. Yeah, for us who can't like not be unidentified as black, like we live with a certain level of like danger that other people are putting out there for us that I don't know if I have the right to be upset with you for wanting to like remove yourself from that. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't know. I guess I don't feel like I have the right to judge, but I get what you both were saying where it's like you said, it's just like a personal thing. So I don't think I'd be upset with them for choosing not to want to be identified as that and letting other people identify them as mm-hmm. like, you believe that I'm white, so I'm going to just be white. And Yeah, Louis C.K. <clears throat> does that. His father is white. No, his father is Mexican, and his mom is white or some shit. But he don't look it. So yeah. he just be like, I'm white, I guess. Because he People really just, don't like, look it. People just say that he white. He yeah, just, he be like, oh, all right. Yeah, just, <laughs> like, I'm really a Mexican, but okay. Yeah, so I feel like. I'm like, shit, you know me, black people you come across as, like, mixed race? Yeah. They just look like black people, though. Right. Like. Yeah, sometimes you just. Hey, like, I'm, I'm black. Not, that's what I am. Like I said, he this, accepted that. He was that, just like, yeah, I'm guess I'm white. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you can let other people define you if you want to. Me personally, 
whatever. <laughs> like, I guess personally, I'm okay with both. Yeah, I wouldn't. Be, I'm not gonna be like, why are you letting other people? If you go that yeah, route, yeah, that's how you feel. Oh uh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, I'm okay with doing both. Oh, with doing both. Yeah, I okay. feel like y'all are both like, nah, I'm gonna define me. Yeah, and I'm like. Well, you no, know, what I'm saying is like I'm cool with both too cuz I mean if you feel like but what I do both no <laughs> probably wouldn't you being like if you feel like you being the way you are or the way you feel is having you in danger and you don't want to No 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 that's not what I'm saying that you don't feel that what I'm saying is you as a person mm-hmm. you're not going to choose to do both you're going to live your truth and be who you are as as Marcus Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Tony said, if you <clears throat> tell me I'm a nanobot, if a whole bunch of motherfuckers got to sit there and say I'm a nanobot, I guess I'm a motherfucking nanobot. <laughs> nah, I'm <laughs> Something saying like that. that. Well, kind of. I'm saying that if I feel like you defining what I am and me not saying anything is more advantageous, I'm gonna utilize that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if that's not advantageous, and then there's no like benefit to that, then I, I'm not gonna let you. Yeah. And so for me, it's more like. Whatever the situation is going to put me in the Go most, with the flow. Yeah. The, not even go with the flow. The most advantageous position. Because if the flow is still going to get me fucked up down the river, I'm not going with it. It got to be like, <laughs> this is a flow okay. of like good shit. And all right, all right, we can fuck with this. Yeah. But so for me, it's more like that. Like if you identify me as something and that makes you want to give me things, cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to burst your bubble. And now if you... Until after I get all these nice, wonderful things, I appreciate that. Yeah, like I went to a private Christian college, so mm-hmm. if people <laughs> identify hilarious. me uh, that way and want to like embrace me and give me certain things because I've had that background or because I've had a military background, I'm definitely accepting those things. Mm-hmm. I'm not turning that away. But now, if you ask me how I define myself, veteran and Christian aren't probably the two things that are coming the first things out of my mouth at all but i'm not gonna be mad if that's gonna be <laughs> beneficial. beneficial yeah so i guess that's how i am but i definitely get where y'all are coming from it's definitely about a personal decision and i wish i don't know why i had the question thanks town yeah super random okay and then uh my only other thing really is besides the el chapo shit <laughs> Catch Shout out to the Mexicans. Shout, Shout out Mexicans to the Mexicans out here fishing. Yeah, a lot of Mexicans. Shout out to the Mexicans. Yeah, <laughs> but, but Gucci Man shirt. versus the Breakfast Club. Well, two of the members since Charlemagne is either on Gucci Man's side or neutral. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so yeah, how do y'all feel about that? How would you feel, Ash, if we had a guy come in here? on the show mm-hmm. and it's like yeah back in the day she used to be on my dick and was trying to fuck and all this wild shit and like made the uh, made the interview awkward you was like no that's not true and everything like that like y'all had like professional dealings like you might have been doing some writing and things like that mm-hmm. and then i go and do an interview after you have like kind of went out on social media clear your name I do an interview with him, and he's like, yeah, fuck that bitch. Mm. How you going to feel about me? <laughs> <laughs> that would make me feel away. That would make me feel away. <laughs> okay. Damn, nigga, we ain't got no more unity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's this basically- is what MLK died for. <laughs> okay, Tony, thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically what happened with Angelina and Charlotte, man, and this Gucci Mane situation. They so ignorant. Why would Charlotte Bay entertain that dude? Like, I think Ma was saying that. She was like, hey, they don't really fuck with each other. Not if you're doing that. No. Not if you're doing that. <laughs> like, You can't be friends. And sometimes it's like, damn, you know, at what cost? Like, you already got the breakfast club. And it's like, why are you still chasing, I guess, uh, what's the word? I'm I feel like he's trying to establish himself as an independent interviewer mm-hmm. and he chasing moments in that direction. Now. That's what mm-hmm. I was saying. Like, okay, now you just getting a uh, controversy. That's what the word I'm looking for. <laughs> now you just chasing it. Yeah, but he used the to Charlotte chase it push-up. when he was establishing the breakfast club. So it's yeah. not like he's using a different formula. But at least it's they just... did it as a group. God damn. I mean, yeah. yeah. But you trying to do solo. So he's like, I'm going to use this controversy and you niggas might be a target. 
That's crazy though. Dang, the whole game that you didn't came up with and now it's just that. And you got to do that to establish your shit. Why? <laughs> talking about oh, you only been cuz on the, his podcast is like him and Andrew Schultz was talking about this. Like, oh, he been out a month and you already had a viral moment. Talking about he only been uploading this shit on his channel mm-hmm. for a month and now he's already had a viral moment. My nigga, that's what we going viral? <laughs> like, even if we, even if me and you aren't friends, Ash, mm-hmm. it's going to make it real awkward for me to walk back in here and try and just I sit down and have right. just like regular A regular here. conversation, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, we just, like, because you go look at me in my face like, so you just had a whole nigga just like, she a bitch. You just sitting there chilling, co-signing. <laughs> <laughs> right. You ain't had shit to say, huh? Yeah. Right. He so, ain't say so nothing. I was like, so I'm a whole ass bitch, huh? That's that's what it is. And then you go on your show and you defend. <laughs> you letting it be put out and everything like that. Right. You ain't defend it, and then after not. That's just what it, I'm saying. Like, damn. You ain't even cut that piece off. You just no. Mm-mm. And it's all on his platform. And. I don't know. I kind of agree with DJ Envy, who was like, Angelique's not okay with it. I said, I'm not doing anything that she's not doing. That's like real basic. That's like teamwork 101, <laughs> Monica. <Right. laughs> it's just but teamwork 101. I don't know. What I've noticed is Angelique and Envy are closer than Charlamagne is with the two of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And the reason that I noticed that is like Angelique and Envy are always talking about how. They got the juice bar together, mm-hmm. and they buy houses and do real estate and all this and that and the third. And and everything, like, Charlemagne like, puts in with him. Like, he got his own people, and he's doing his own thing. And mm. so I noticed that a while ago, and I guess now this just kind of confirms it for me, where it's just like, yeah, all the other shit just kind of just finally adding up. That that's why he wasn't doing business with them and shit like that, because you don't look at them like that. Do you think he was always that way? Or is it just now, like, something that I just think started? Always. Yeah. Well, probably. I mean, I'm not going to say Charlemagne is an opportunist, but I'm going to say Charlemagne... No, an opportunity is there. ...is <laughs> focused on himself and his career, mm-hmm. regardless of other people. And I think that is speaks to the track record. Like, not to say that, like... Because he's never shit on, like, Wendy Williams. Mm-hmm. But he used that situation, and then once that situation was no longer good because of Kev, he left. But, like, he's mentioned in certain, like, caddy ways that I'm sure get him good ratings. And Because Wendy Williams' name is still a big name. Even if you're like, I'm not going to say anything bad about her. You've put it out in the air and got niggas speculating. Right. Yep. Building speculation mm-hmm. is a great way to get attention. So, I feel like he's not unwilling to use people that he's worked with before his names and things like that. So, you yeah, know, I don't know. I think it's kind of shitty. I don't, I would be really upset with y'all, like, if we had, like, a show going and you did an interview or Marcus did an interview with somebody else that you knew how I had problems with. Like, I'd be like... On some regular shit. Like, yeah, yeah and, and then at the end <laughs> of the fuck? interview... They talk shit about me. Like, not only do you know me, See, this person already have an thing, issue, right. but they talk shit about me. I wouldn't have an issue with you going to do the interview by yourself. My issue would be them talking shit and you not saying nothing. That's where my issue comes in at. It's like, all right, you want to do the interview? That's cool. I'm not going to be there. That's your own little venture. You're doing your own little thing. I'm fine with that. But you let them talk shit about me? Come on, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is that shit about? That's what my issue comes in at. Because, like, like you said, like he could have been just doing that shit on his own little venture, on his yeah. own little thing, and that could have been his own little thing right there. That's whatever. That's your own little business venture. You're doing that on your own platform. It has nothing to do with Breakfast Club. Uh-huh. But at the same time, we all rock with each other. We all work together, and you just let the nigga say whatever, huh? It makes me feel that's how you feel. But Charlamagne ain't never been, like, a person to get character to me anyway. I don't know why. I mean, she's always seen something just like iffy, but that's just my personal opinion. I don't think he's ever been like. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Like, there was a point when I was fucking with Charlotte, mm-hmm. like I enjoyed his first book and everything like that. And I enjoyed his come up. 
but and then I've enjoyed watching him like hit this level of success, but just like seeing this, it's just like you don't got you you're already popular and got attention and shit like that. Yeah. And you don't gotta do that. Go back to doing like nasty shit. Gossipy ass shit yeah, that you like, just go to like yeah, Why well, perpetuate it? What your, was the point of all this? She's your co worker. Like, you got to go see this woman every single day. You right. don't feel no type of way. She a black woman. You don't feel like you should protect her. Right. We just letting that be out in the universe. He said she was on his dick. She said she wasn't. He was persistent about it. Be damned the fact that she's in a relationship and everything like that. And this nigga married, but this is the thing that's important. I was on your dick way back in the day. So when I go and have try to make light of the situation, mm-hmm. because, hey, I'm a woman, and you've already kind of embarrassed me, so fuck it. I'm going to go making light of the situation since it's already out there, and I'm sure people are saying shit to me about it. Mm-hmm. Now you mad because I've made light of the situation and basically said that it wasn't true. I don't understand. Your character show up some way, ready to perform. I think, like I said, I know like he's always trying to push the right buttons to get the right reaction to keep keep people listening and to keep people entertained. I guess that's just a part of the business that we all got to be in and to keep people coming back to your show. But like I said, to what end, my nigga? Like, you ain't tired yet? You ain't tired of the bullshit drama that you cause over dumb shit? Like, Mm-mm. talking to Gucci Man about some shit that... Yes, just like he was like, oh, the whole conversation was about mental health and growth and everything like that. He's like, clearly this nigga has not grown to still be talking about some shit (laughs) and bringing it the fuck up. Why are you so obsessed with this bitch? Even if she was on your dick, my nigga, you Gucci man. Like, don't you got fifteen? Don't you married? You got fifteen hundred billion hoes on your dick. Even if Angela, you was on it, and let's say it was true. Why do you keep bringing that old shit up? Yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter no right. more, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> it don't matter. Stop bringing that up. Yeah. Yeah, so. you know, you used to fuck with me, right? Nigga, and? <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> it's like my ex coming in here. Yeah, you know, we used to be married, right? What the fuck? <laughs> Thanks. What was the point of that again? Yeah, like, how is that He helpful? just keeps saying that right, shit, right. you know. <laughs> Why not shut up? Remember in May 2000, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Like, no. <laughs> right. I, I wish I could forget. Exact dates? Yeah. Who remembers that? I don't even remember May 2016. I was drunk <laughs> from May 2016. <laughs> I don't remember 2016. How about that? <laughs> if I grow up. Yeah, no, that shit was nasty to me. And so I was like, yeah, I don't really agree with what Charlamagne did. And I was like, I wonder how my co hosts feel about that. I was like, Cause I feel like, hey, we could really be in this situation. Yeah. And if y'all went to go do like some work with somebody, I'd be like, eh. but <laughs> he was just there, just talking all the shit about me. And you was just sitting there like, mm. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's mm. crazy. You ain't say like, no, nah, we not gonna talk about that. Stop. Nothing. Chill, he just nah. just kept letting them talk. Like, no, nah, we ain't gonna keep bringing this up. Like, no, nah, that's not cool. You said who, bitch? <laughs> basically yeah that's that's get closer so... to the mic i didn't hear you <laughs> yeah, no, so. let's just speak to his character my nigga you still trying to get clout like if you just ain't done chasing clout god damn so who's trying to fuck with you say it loud and clear <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah the tank thing mm-hmm. oh, this nigga tank, that's man. the other thing i want to talk about <laughs> i remember it now. so Tank on lip service said, well, a clip came out of Tank talking about if you suck dick twice and the first time you were curious and the second time it was like, after the first time he was like, I'm not sure. And you did it again and you're like, no, nope, I don't like that. And you don't do it no more. <laughs> that don't make you gay. No. Nope. I just oh want to know how you're not sure the first time. You just got this far. It's just like... Well, maybe you thought you didn't. <laughs> maybe you weren't sure if you didn't like it or not because it was your first time. So you're like, I don't really know how I felt about that. Like, you were drunk. This, <laughs> this just happened. Let me do it again. <laughs> yeah, you know how you, you eat something and you're like, I don't think it was terrible. What's wrong with this? I don't know if I liked it. I ain't get I'm going to eat it again <laughs> just to good. find out. And then you eat it again so you can figure out 
no, what it is. Right. You're like, nah, I don't want this. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like that. <laughs> maybe it's like that. <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs> Tank couldn't explain it to me. I mean, but that's, <laughs> I mean, that's all the only thing that I can come up with. Maybe it's like that, y'all. Yeah, maybe it's like that. I don't know how many times you got to get, like, I'm trying to think, like, if I'm eating pussy for the first time. No. <laughs> I'm like, well, maybe I'll do it again. Maybe the circumstances are not right. Yeah, like, what if you was doing it the first time and you think maybe it was her? Mm-hmm. Like, you just don't think you were her by Or you think they're like... It was your first time, so maybe you was in like getting the experience that you should have been getting. But now that you're a little more like used to just at least that action, mm-hmm. it'd be a little better for you. But did that make me gay though? Did that make me a lesbian from I doing it, just I, trying it I, out? I, I don't know. <laughs> That's the I don't question. Know. Yeah. Really... You know what? I don't think it makes a woman gay because niggas don't yeah, care. It's more but I think it makes with a nigga because women are mm-hmm. homophobic. Mm-hmm. Women are homophobic. Yeah. I don't like that word homophobic. That's you gotta fine. choose a different word. Because no. homophobic mean like you scared of gay people. I don't think people who don't like gay people are necessarily no, scared. No, y'all homophobic. Of y'all are oh, afraid okay. of your life changing. What? I don't think y'all are afraid of gay people. Like, uh-huh. oh, boogeyman gay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that y'all are afraid. And come of, out the closet on you. <laughs> I think it's a bit more about like mouth. the fear of like change mm-hmm. attached to this specific, particular like subject. Arena. Yeah. So your fear is based off a of change in society due to homosexuality. So you're homophobic. Like, yeah, that's what I would say is how they're yeah, using it. Sense. That's the only thing I can come up with because it's not like arachnophobia where, mm-hmm. like, you'll cry if you see a spider. Because I don't <laughs> think that people who are homophobic are crying when they see gay people. No. Oh. Like, that would be wild. <laughs> you know, if that oh. was a person, if that was what homophobic was, that that'd be, be like a real mental condition. Yeah. Like we couldn't yeah. even be mad at people like that. No, like if they just were like really terrified, they just lose their shit. Like every time they how? You know what we fucked up? Are you gonna start sucking dick in front of me? If in <laughs> the very beginning they started doing that, people who didn't like gay people just started acting like they were like arachnophobic, but towards gay people. So that way we had to treat it like an actual like illness so they could get that shit off that'd be wild that'd be like uh when uh jerry springer and like more used to do the uh phobia episode yeah <laughs> like all right all right all right i'm gonna open the box lisa 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 listen oh you can't not real. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something stupid to be in this box. Because it's always something stupid. Yeah, it's, something like, <laughs> it's a worm in here, okay? It's, a worm. it's an earthworm. Oh my God. It's two inches long. <laughs> and then and then that's when it start happening. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. They start crying. Start the box ain't open yet. The nigga on the other, cro- other side of the stage with the worm in the box. She can't even see it yet. She crying already. Yeah, so that's what, that's what they go and do. The closer they get. So what if that was the thing? Like, uh, bro, that so if, that, be if wild. that's how homophobia worked, mm-hmm. then we can't be mad. But I think it's homophobic if they're defining it the way that I put it. But I don't know. But that's the <laughs> only way that makes sense to me. If you use a homophobic in like today's content, you're afraid right. of the way like things are going to change because of this specific arena, mm-hmm. and you like rebel against that. I don't know how we got there. Oh, fucking two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I don't Nigga know time. if you consider it gay. I don't think it is. I think women are like, homophobic, and that's why it's nah. gay. Mm. I'm not going to persecute gonna, you for it. You're not going to date Because in society, a man can't be bisexual. It's not even that. It's not. It's that a man can't say, I just like two dicks in college and go to a woman <laughs> 10 years later and then go on a date. Oh no, that's that's right. why it ain't got nothing to do with him wanting to be bisexual. He can't even say it happened as in his curiosity. For I was eighteen, mm-hmm. I was just trying some shit. You gonna still be like, nah, I'm not gonna date you. No, not me. I personally, you asked me before, like wave episodes. You was like, if you have fell in love with somebody and they needed to be like, they needed to have dick every once in a while. I didn't say they needed to have it every once or whatever. In a while. It was like that sounds crazy. That was that. <laughs> that yeah, that's like what you interpreted. It was, <laughs> it was paraphrased or some shit like that. I like, they had. Ooh, what's, what what they what back story in the you day, been writing? No. <laughs> I was like, back in the day, they used to like they had gotten dick. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like they needed to consistently still get it. <laughs> I, I could understand you not wanting to be involved in that situation. He wants to fuck other people. 
<laughs> my thing was like in the past he had gotten some dick. No, I still wouldn't be mad. What, like I said, what not was mad, else? but are you gonna date him? Yeah. What would what do that got to do with me? Nothing. Okay. That ain't got shit to do with me. You did it. See, you definitely said is. no in the other episode. No, I did say I was like, no, it's fine. No, you said it, no. You would date him. Yeah, you looked at me. You was like, oh, okay. No, I'll play it back. You don't even know what episode that was. I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Was that the episode we was all sitting around talking? Because I'm pretty sure her and Alicia was, was Camille right on here. I know. No. Uh, no. Alicia was here though. Alicia was talking about. Alicia was like, no, I, I wouldn't. No, yeah. they was I sitting. Remember, that's what when Charles was down here. No. You two was going back and forth like, why couldn't he do it? Charles was down here on that episode. No, he wasn't. It yeah, was he was, because I was quiet and sick. And that's not when it was. I don't know what you thought we were talking about on the quiet and sick episode that you had. Because <laughs> well, that wasn't it. <laughs> no, I remember Lisa being ago. like, no, that's not okay with me. Yeah, Lisa said no. And then you're like, yeah, because you wouldn't want to see her to look at your man emasculated like he was getting to do. No, I don't care. I'm telling you now. If there was any confusion, I don't care. I'm not saying that you don't say that now. I'm just mm-hmm. saying that back in the episode. I no, I never you. was just like, damn, no, that's crazy. I don't Marcus, mind. Am I crazy or did it? Didn't you remember both of them being like, no, nah, we're not. No, see, that was that's Alicia. The thing. I can't remember. That's why I didn't bring her up when I was going back in my head. I remember. Alicia I specifically was like, remember Alicia saying, I don't remember what I said. I don't have no problem with it. If so I can't like, I did it. I don't like it. Okay. I do remember Alicia specifically, though. I don't remember what I said. I, I don't mind. Said. I don't mind if you've done it. And it was like, I don't oh, no, I'm not, like, mm-hmm. I'm not saying I'm not calling you a liar or anything like that. I'm just pretty yeah, sure. I'm just letting, but I don't you might have misinterpreted what I said, too. So, no, you had asked that similar question <laughs> we're not gonna say what i just said a similar question way back and i was like oh, it doesn't really bother me if you did it before and then it was just like no nah, it wasn't for me i'm like okay cool i'm gonna ask you all sorts of stupid questions your question what was, was like, <laughs> like what didn't you like about it do you want i love it so why did you know that like occasionally wants to go out and get some dick every <laughs> <time>. I'm like, <laughs> no. that is what you said what? it was something a lot i don't remember that's, that's wild Ash. No, <laughs> okay. no one's agreeing to that i'm not dating a chick that occasionally wants to go get some pussy every once in a while like no you want to go cheat I on me i don't remember exactly what you said <laughs> like it's not even about the so fact bad. that it's a woman it's the fact that you just want to go step out and <laughs> go get some other shit i don't fucking remember what you said but it was something like not like that, but <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> you a head thief? About to t- <laughs> head thief. Oh, I can goddamn thief. take. Yeah, but no, um, I don't know if it's gay. But if you but just kept doing it, like uh, I the think second day, gay, and then well, you might want to do the third. Gay. I meant to say. <laughs> you think gay? Uh oh. No. Someone say it. I think tank Pause. point. Well, no, I misspoke and said I meant she just gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. Though. Oh, he's pause. I was supposed to say Tank's name instead of saying Tank. I said Gay. Oh, but that's I not a pause. Gay. Yes, it is. You supposed to pause you yourself? Don't know how to... And you supposed to jump in? Y'all explain the rules to the pause. But you don't know when pauses apply. <laughs> it applies when I say something that might make me sound like I do something gay or I'm doing I something I think gay, gay definitely makes you sound like you did something gay. If I just said the gay. word gay, it's, 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 not, it's not a pause. It's not a word gay. I'm like pause. It's what? like gay, pause. What? Huh? Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what you pausing for? This is why I can't participate in the pause game. I, I I'll see. whisper it though when I feel it's appropriate. That's fine. That is, that is fine. But I think Tank was speaking on behavior, mm-hmm. which, like, if I murder you, but I don't keep going on, like, a murdering spree. I killed somebody, but I'm not necessarily, like, a murderer, like, in, like, identity. I think that's what he was arguing, like identity versus action. Mm-hmm. So if sucking dick twice and then you never do it again in the rest of your life, are you really gay? Or did you just have like a gay experience? That's a good question, though. You had a gay experience. <laughs> You're not yeah. necessarily gay because you was like, nah, and now I fuck with chicks. Mm-hmm. If I lied to you because you my baby moms and I told you these two lies about where I was going to be, for the kid's birthday and I'm realistically in Vegas and I told you when I was going to be back and realistically I got back a week later and then I never lied to you again. I'm not a liar. <laughs> I never lied to you again. <laughs> I'm not a liar. I lied though. Yeah. I definitely did lie. But I'm not a liar. I just had to get this off real quick. I wasn't spending birthday two with this nigga and he not going to remember it. I'm about to go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, examples for like lying. 
I had to give a setup scenario. What Tony's saying is. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, we don't got to talk about how Tony's giving it up. This motherfucker is not going to be available. Why are you talking? <laughs> why, why are you trying to expose me? Not. Allegedly. Yeah. We'll just put yeah, allegedly in there. I'm, allegedly. I'll be a great dad. <laughs> allegedly, Tony may or may not be there for the first three or four years. He I'll might be, be in there. Vegas. That's <laughs> not going to be around for three or four years. That's crazy. <laughs> three years in Vegas sounds like a terrible time. But uh, I think that's all that I had is the Gucci band and the tank shit. Because uh, I thought that was hilarious. That was funny. <laughs> all right. I guess it's my turn, guys. Yeah. All right. So, been contemplating this question. Yeah. And I wonder what you guys have to think about it. So, why y'all think that women like, quote unquote, bad boys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We were talking about these corny niggas. Yeah. And then maybe later they'd be like, I'm a fuck with a, we got to define the word corny nigga to be clear. Would you like us to do that first? <clears throat> or you, you want us to do it afterward? You can define corny nigga and then we're going to ask why you think they like bad boys at first. A nigga with no backbone is going to be generally passive, mm-hmm. beta male in the relationship. It's going to be your way. And, he going to be pretty all right with that. A general lack of, like, defined leadership. Mm. I thought you were going to say, it's like, his J's ain't fresh or some stupid shit. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> no, nah, like, no, nah, I mean, I don't give a fuck what you look like. You just, uh, like, you're just a cornball, like. You no, just, see, I'm mad that she went straight to like that's what a fashion. woman because that's what a woman would do. Look at how she look. <laughs> but this bitch has five master's degrees. What are you talking about? <laughs> but her shoes, she ain't even got the new name brand. You're right. And that's why I'm not with you anymore. <laughs> you, yeah, you're right. You're right. She ain't got some new name brands, but she go, you know, wherever the fuck she want, when she want, every other weekend. What you doing every other weekend? Working. To new name brands. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so you came like that is a cornball. Like that and it's like you like doing shit to impress women. Mm. Like I don't really do anything like to really like impress women, I don't think. Like, go out your way and be like, yeah. Nah, I'm me. Definitely and not going to fuck out my way. If <laughs> if me don't get it done, then Guess it's not getting done. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying I don't put in effort. That's different. Oh, no. Corny <laughs> niggas are going to be real agreeable and everything you say. What type of music you like? I love that type of music, too. <laughs> <laughs> they real, real agreeable. Like, I'm going to put in work. Like, I'm going to give, like, some quality time and shit like that. But if you tell me something Ooh, I don't agree with, that. I'm also going to be like, nah, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine a nigga just saying yes to me all the time. I would never. But you know, I know you've met niggas like that. I'm trying to yeah, think of one so that I can remember in decent memory. So go ahead, Marcus. What show is that? You agree with him? You got anything oh, to yeah, add I with mean, the corny nigga? This is what I was chiming in on these things. Uh huh. Shit's just crazy. I'm trying I to mean, think of a corny today. Yeah, no, nah, he. It. That's pretty much it on the head. Mm-hmm. It's like you just. He said, He's you corny backbone, as fuck. You don't stand up for nothing. You just I hate you for real. Yeah, you <laughs> Damn, you you a doormat. Mm-hmm. Essentially. Well, I hate you because like cornball's a dirty mac. <laughs> a nasty man. No, no, no. Dirty man. Dirty mac. Dirty mac. So dirty macking is mm-hmm. like let's say I'm talking to a chick mm-hmm. and somebody else knows about it. He on down talk me. Mm-hmm. To try and lift himself up in her eyes, like oh he not gonna do this, he not gonna do that, he da da da. He... Why do you always got me oh, yeah, in nice my play. situation that's in your nice mouth? Play from the left I'm gonna bring that up. All the way. The yeah, nice like, guy okay, play, because so that's what it sound like y'all are talking what? about. Oh, because I've hit the nice guy play before. <laughs> but, that's, <laughs> but that's not necessarily the nice guy. It's not, but it's that's because like... that's dirty macking. That's if you got to shit on me mm-hmm. to lift yourself up. That's not being a hey, nice guy. Being a it's nice guy even. is like, I'm 
about to do, if you need a ride to work and I know that and I got a car, mm -hmm. hey, do you need a ride? Because I'm not doing shit and I know you be walking or you be catching the bus and sometimes you be late. Right. That's being a nice guy. What you doing, my nigga, is dirty macking. Okay. Let's not say that's that's me, not the wait, nice guy, on, but that's dirty me, macking. Now, they me, trying to cover it up as being a nice guy, but what you're doing is dirty macking. Let me say what I was about to say You're a whole fuck now. nigga. I hate niggas that dirty. Because niggas dirty make me all the time. What I was about to say it was... It don't ever work. It's not even Stay that. with the bitch that you niggas wanted. Ah. It's not even that. Because it's not like... I should call out some the niggas, play I was saying, I would hit. But niggas be mad. It's not like I was saying like, oh yeah, I'm down taking a nigga. I'm not down talking to nigga. You're down talking to nigga. Mm -hmm. I'm disagreeing with you. <laughs> no, that's, that's what I'm doing. That's dirty <laughs> macking. That is dirty macking. That's dirty Yeah, that's dirty macking as fuck too. Whatever way he wants to I'm justify not, it. That's, <laughs> I'm not talking about my nigga. nigga. <laughs> would you want somebody going to your bitch and her being upset about shit and you know she's spinning it in a direction that's not really all the way facts and instead of you being a real friend and being like, hey, what's the real situation? And giving a real advice, you're like, yeah, I understand. You just <laughs> going right along, but see, puppy dog and behind what you're saying. I'm Fuck not, that nigga. But in that situation, I'm not being her friend. I'm trying to get her. I'm not trying to be her friend. That's, that, that's But what you do it to me is you're dirty macking me. You So you shitting on me. I understand what I'm doing to you, but so yeah, realistically, that's, that's a fuck nigga. That's, that's a cornball. That is a cornball <laughs> ass nigga. Fuck what I'm doing Any you. nigga that got to do that to get a bitch, couldn't get the bitch on his own. Mm -hmm. The only reason that you can get the bitch is because she mad at me. You couldn't pull her by yourself. Because if you could, you wouldn't have to shit talk me. You mad because I'm in a position that you not. And so since she mad at me right now in the moment, you're going to shit talk me in the hopes that now you get to be in this position. That's cool. But guess what? You'd have never been there. And you're not going to stay here because she really don't like you, my nigga. That's my thing. I'm not trying to stay there either. I'm not trying to take you. Oh, you just trying I don't, to hit. You don't hit a play like that to try to take a that, bitch. But no. Oh, you're still trying to hit them. But yeah, you just trying okay. to fuck. You don't do that to take somebody? No. Because now you got issues. Like, see, all that shit you're talking about, that's what you got to deal with now. Because right. realistically, she not trying to get a, she not trying to get away. You just hit in the moment of weakness, mm -hmm. and that's all it was. You're not supposed to... It would hit the move like that. You're not supposed to stay there. No, those are fuck niggas. Because Any realistically, nigga that hits you know, the move like that doing, is a fuck nigga. She's about to go back to that nigga. Now you got to deal with that situation. That's crazy. Nah. Mm. It's just, that's, <laughs> that, that is fuck nigga behavior. Mm -hmm. Dirty macket on another nigga. And you want to know why it's fuck nigga behavior? Mm -hmm. The only reason you know about this nigga is because you know that nigga. Hmm. Oh, see, I would, I would never. No, that's no, no. I you know, know the nigga. Because how can you dirty, you can't dirty mac a nigga that you don't know. She, if she's comfortable enough with you to talk to you about this nigga, mm -hmm. so now you've have you got some familiar familiarity with this nigga, and about him, because clearly you're not just some random nigga that she just started dumping your problems on. So you've been around. So you're a friend. So if you're one of her friends, it's not the situation I was in. <laughs> it wasn't you, like a friendly situation like that. All right, so no, you can meet a chick, and out in the world, and she just started. Telling you about a nigga that you don't know and how trash he is. And you can not say nothing to just be like, I'm just letting this bitch vent to me. I don't really consider that dirty macking because you're not really going out your way to talk shit about this nigga. You're not really going out your way to facilitate her talking shit about this nigga. You mm -hmm. don't know this nigga. You, I don't mm -hmm. know you for real, bitch. I just met you. Mm -hmm. And what you decide to do is tell me about this nigga that you hate. Yeah. But if this is your female friend, and you in her ear talking shit about the nigga she with. You know who the you know the nigga that she with. Yeah. You a whole ass nigga. You a I'm fuck nigga. I'm not you are a fuck nigga. I'm not doing that no. But nigga. that's what fuck nigga. That's what, that's what dirty. Because if you know is. somebody, like, I know I'm not gonna fuck with you anyway. So like, that's a whole nother situation. This is not what what I'm talking about. I'm talking about females with niggas that, that ain't got shit to do with me. Well, see, well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't no, know see, you, that's, nigga. I don't think that's an issue because realistically, <laughs> sitting there like you yeah, gonna meet and bring you no like, food on another day. That's no, crazy. No, see, no, I'm not gonna do that. You know, I would have bought you some food. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not doing that though either because <laughs> that's that when either. you cross into dirty mac. And even if I don't yeah. know the nigga, I'm not. I'm not talking down on another nigga mm -hmm. to try and get you to like me. Mm -hmm. Like that's. Just whack. If you don't fuck with me because you fuck with me and you only fuck with me because I'm talking shit about this nigga and right now you emotional and you want to talk shit about the nigga too and so we, we vibing on that level, you don't fuck with me. Mm -hmm. That's whack as fuck. That's hella corny. Like, I can't respect no nigga like that. Like, I don't respect your swag. I don't respect the bitches that you get. Like, you just manipulating women in their weakness. Mm -hmm. 
And I get it that the game is a certain amount of manipulation on both people's parts. But you doing it to just shit on other niggas? Like, there's supposed to be some level of honor amongst the niggas. And you like, man, fuck that nigga. He can't bring you no food. Yeah, he a, he a fucked ass nigga. Like, he ain't got no money. Damn. You don't even right. know me and you down in my name. Right. Like, or she mentioned me to you. Or, yeah, me to you. She mentioned me, her nigga, to mm-hmm. you, her friend. And now you got shit to talk. You should probably shut the fuck up. You want to know why? Because you're going to get excommunicated real quick. Because you know who she's telling you talking shit to? That nigga that she's fucking with. Well, this is what my friends are saying. Which ones? Oh, okay. They got to go. Right. Yeah, and then they, like, that's some, that's corny. That's real, real corny shit. But, you know, go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I was just, that's real. Person. Like, I don't understand how you pick. I understand why women pick those niggas, though. Like, I'm not attracted to another nigga that's talking about another nigga. <laughs> I met women that hate that's that just shit. Weird. Which, <laughs> like, I don't like, I'm not attracted to women that are attracted to that. Like, mm-hmm. if that's the shit that gets you off, I don't really want to fuck with you for real. Because mm-hmm. why Cause are you bringing them in that? Why are you attention focused on that? Somebody else man? can do that same shit to me. Right. Yeah. Pull you right back. And you're going to be like, yeah, fuck that. Da, da, da. <clears throat> like, where's your loyalty at? For one. And then why is everybody else inside of your business? For two. Like, those are two things that I think are messy. But I think women choose the corny nigga, not necessarily the nigga that's dirty macking. Mm-hmm. I think it's a whole different situation. But just a corny nigga because he's safer. Like, if you get with a nigga that is the bad boy or whatever women want to term the nigga that they feel like has that edge mm-hmm. is usually what I That's think That's what it is. It's the edge. It's a certain amount of edge that a woman needs. Mm-hmm. And if you catch a dude that has that edge, but he's not in the position where he's focused on a real relationship... You're going to enjoy the edge, but it's not going to really amount to anything. And that's going to turn you off. If you run into a whole bunch of niggas that are got that edge and doing the same thing, they probably still going to be, like, attracting other women because they still have that edge, fucking them because they don't really take this seriously. And it's going to make you feel away. And then you're going to go to the safe nigga that's not doing none of that. They don't have none of those, like, tendencies. And you just go on the other opposite end. Yep. Mm, you just do whatever I say. Yeah. I just read about things like that. When I was younger, mm-hmm. God be like, <laughs> I'd be like, see, that's how y'all always gonna end up 45 and alone, look for a nice nigga, and all them nice niggas, you know what them nice niggas gonna be? They gonna be with all the females. <laughs> y'all run around, for, I actually know someone like that right now. That's like 40 something, run around looking for a nigga. Now, well, I was just talking about I'm like, that. you was wild your whole life, and now you wanna settle down? None of these niggas want your ass now. Bro, after 35, <laughs> it's getting real tough for these ladies. Like, when a man gets older, they provide more value because they, yeah. they didn't establish yeah. anything and everything. Yeah. Let me get older. Uh, you can't not as kid. great. Oh. <laughs> it's not as... You lose your value as you get older. Not as good. <laughs> not I don't even talk like that, but that's kind of what it is. That's why I just never understood. Like, how you used to 45 talking about ain't no good man around or ain't no this, like... But you didn't have no game plan. Like, you ain't learned no lessons in no 20s at all. But you Nothing. got five kids. Bitch. Like, what is you still chasing at this point in your life? That's why the whole bad boy thing to me It's is... not even a knock on bad boys. It's just you. Just oh, that's what sit. it brought me up to. I remember what we were talking about now. The good dick thing? Yes. Okay. So the that whole... Shit. That's like, if you chasing a bad boy, like, you very self-unaware. And you, you, you yourself is also emotionally unavailable. You only chasing that bad boy because you know he not going to give you what you truly need because you don't think you deserve those things. And like when, you, when I was in my early twenties doing what I was doing, I didn't think I deserved a good nigga. I didn't know what the fuck to do with one. Like I think growing up with, this is not a dig on my father, but let's just keep it real. Like how did I learn my love template? Quote unquote, I had to get it from my dad. So he didn't necessarily teach me the best way. So that way his behaviors was what I would look for in other men. And his behavior wasn't the best all the time. So I didn't know any better. 
So one day I was sitting in the shower. I'm like, damn, I think I fucking married my dad. Like, and <laughs> it was so unfulfilling on so many levels. But I'm like, damn, he act just like my father. That's when I realized, like, oh, wait a minute. I'm just dating what I'm used to. They say, like, you chase the person that gave you the most issues growing up. So if your mom gave you the most issues, you're going to look for that unconsciously in other women because you used to it. Same thing with females. They're just going to look for what they saw in their fathers or lack thereof or whatever they think having a man around equates to them. So if you're still chasing that bad boy mentality, if you still need that level of excitement in your life after a certain age, you what you really chasing is your own low self-esteem for real because like who you date is essentially a mirror. So, And I think that the, when y'all talking about the corny guy thing, that's just kind of like what these quote-unquote nice niggas <laughs> would say and do. Yes, so they just, they're appealing, like you said, they're appealing to that manipulation thinking a bitch gonna stay around long enough if I just say yes to her long enough. I Look. think what women really want and why they go for the nice guy is because they want that edge and realistically what that edge is, is they want a certain level of dominance, guidance, and security. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they usually at a younger age misinterpret <clears throat> the bad boy that with those things yeah. Yeah. that's a more hyper aggressive and hyper masculine and things like that as the person that's providing those things and so that's what they go towards because that's what they think it looks like it doesn't look like oh let's have a conversation let's show understanding let's mm -hmm. like let's really get to know each other because generally you just have an I most people in their early relationships are just dating an idea and not the people that they're actually with mm -hmm. and so i think that that's generally why people don't know just in general like i don't really know who i wanted because i'm dating the idea of a relationship and not really right. the person that i'm with right now to like experience what they do how they are the things that they did that made me happy the things that they did that made me sad the things that they did that i did make me sad or happy but i don't think that i wanted my next relationship regardless like they were just frivolous useless things to me i want to go this direction mm -hmm. just general shit like that i don't think that people in general but i think that women look at the bad boy as the person that has those qualities yeah that it's not until they kind of like get a couple of bumps with the bad boy it's like ah no nah. but then some of them are like ah, and then like run all the way to the other opposite end of the spectrum mm -hmm. and go to the fuck nigga and then some of them are like nah i'm gonna still keep dealing with these because the qualities look similar but now i'm starting to recognize the like the minute differences between being like hyper aggressive and protective and mm -hmm. shit like that so i think if you're over a certain age and you still chasing niggas like that that shit is the saddest sight Ugh, i'm so sorry and i had a friend whose mom told my mom that she just didn't understand because she wasn't old enough and that she had needs <laughs> yeah it's okay whack yeah i was in like in eighth or ninth grade and she was like you just don't understand i got needs and you but get, you oh, still you let your pussy too. rule your life you know how i'd be if i just let my pussy rule my life People, she talks so much shit People, i don't listen to her no more <laughs> Oh, bitch, I don't... <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> she be getting on my fucking it's like, nerves. It's kind of like what you said. It's like, because when you get into the situation, you, like you said, guys with edge versus guys that don't have that particular dominance. When you get into it, it's like, them dudes with edge, they dominate the situation. It's like this, 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 decision here, decision that, do this, I'm going to do that. And you either going to go along with it or you're going to go about your business. I think women like that, that, that quick decision making. Mm -hmm. uh, I think versus, women are so like indecisive that having someone who can make the decisions and like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at least feel like it's a plan and feel makes like y'all happy. Protected and you know like there's a like you said there's a plan. There's something there. There's something going forward or whatnot. Versus somebody who's a nice guy who might also have those same ideas, mm -hmm. but they're not applying them. Yeah, they're not putting anything into the situation. It's like, what do you want to do? How do you feel today? What is this? What is that? And when you get a guy who has like edge, uh, hyper aggressive, like he said, it's like, well, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. This is what it is today. Yeah, you can put your opinion in. It mm -hmm. might change how I feel. It might sway what I'm doing, but I already had a plan. Versus yeah. what do you want to do today? What's going to do? Da, 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 da. See, you for know? me, I'm like a mix of both because I don't really care what we do on a day to day, well, day to day, day to day basis. Like, 
You want to go out? You want to kick it? You gonna have to like tell me, cause Tony's super oblivious and like super in my own world. So I'm like hyper focused on just like what I'm doing, mm. and so I don't think about like, oh, I haven't left my house in three weeks. Maybe we should go outside. <laughs> <laughs> just little shit like that, cause I don't care about that. But now, general decisions on like where I want to live, the direction I think the family should be moving in, things like overarching goals, that's really where I'm going to get in my bag and be like, all right, so this is like the way that we're going to move. Mm-hmm. So if you need me to micromanage you, that's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Tony is not that type of nigga. But if we can have the game plan and realistically, I can tell you, all right, this is, this is what we're doing. This is how she is getting there. And on the day-to-day shit, do that. Because if you want me to do something, what I'm realistically focused on is this overarching plan. So I'm probably not thinking about this little thing that you want me to go to. Right. Tell me about it. Because I'm not going to think to take you. It's not that I don't think about you. But I'm thinking about us in this large goal that I don't care about going over here for an hour. That don't mean nothing to me. And it's, I like I love spending time with you, but this literally just doesn't mean something to me. Because I'll be spending time with you whether I'm at the house or here. Mm-hmm. So I'm happy. <laughs> you don't want to want to go outside, which I completely understand. Sometimes it's nice out there. <laughs> the fuck? Just let me know. <laughs> make an appointment. Not see, even make an like, appointment. Like, <laughs> I'm somewhat the same in a sense, but see, my issue is I have an overall of not just caring. Yeah. So, like he said, he'd like he be in the house three weeks. I can just be in the three house, house for like three weeks and not just care and just be about doing whatever i'm doing mm-hmm. and it's like oh this 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 and that huh? all right okay <laughs> you want to do this all right i don't feel no type of way about it i do it don't look like <laughs> it. i remember but i that do used to come on my nerves like no, hey you want to go somewhere yeah all right why aren't you excited what <laughs> I, hate that. I hate that question why aren't you excited why do I, I have to be like a fucking know. puppy? Why do I have to be? <laughs> do I gotta oh, wag my tail shit. and hit you in the face? Like, you just don't want to hang out with me? Like, what's going on? Like, no. Nah. He was like, no, I didn't say any of that. Yeah. I'm like, I but you're yeah. not. <laughs> I, I'm not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's what women be thinking. You gotta respond to this emotional cue and stimulus just like I do. Yeah. No, bitch. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Get out of my like, face. You know how hard it is to fake excitement. I've had somebody walk up to me and say some shit, and I know they want to be excited, and I fake the excitement. And it was like, I just this. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, in my head, I'm like, this is so fake, but I'm trying. I'm trying so hard because I can't fake smile. Right. So <laughs> just trying to fake excitement and be like, ah. I'm like, they got to know this shit is fake. They probably just appreciate it because they know I don't do this shit for real. See? That's why these bitches got to learn. Uh, bitches just... got to learn about these men out here. God damn it. I had to learn. You bitches got to learn. And then every time I think about like, they be like, oh, fake excitement. Like, ah, why are you not reacting the same way? I think about the time, the things that actually make me react that mm-hmm. way. I'm like, damn. They probably wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being excited is hard. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm excited for shit, but I just, I'm not about to be like, I'm not really expressive about Jumping it. up and down and like, <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? That's a lot, man. That's a lot? Yeah. I'm like, excited sitting here. No, let me, no, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not be, doing all that. Like, See, you thing, just did too much right there. This is like, great. I'm going to be excited. At a concert. Okay. Like, if I go see Kendrick, I'd be excited. Right. But, like, I went and saw the One Piece movie. And niggas was yelling and everything when certain characters would show up on the screen and everything like that. And I'm just sitting there. Mm-hmm. They're trying to get shut up and enjoy the shit peacefully. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm, and I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying right. the movie, but I'm not, I don't know. I just don't engage with emotion like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they engage with emotion <laughs> like that. <laughs> But it doesn't happen for me. Mm. Like, it's really rare. It's, yeah, it's very rare <laughs> for me to like really show excitement. Like, I have to be like really interested. Like, and I think that's because I find everything in the world really, really boring. Mm-hmm. Nothing really surprises me for the most part. And since I'm not surprised, I'm not excited. Yeah. Yeah, a lot like, of shit don't surprise me anymore. Like, I like seeing, I like going to see concerts of people that I really like. And like, that's a great time. But I'm more like 
enjoying like it's just a full totality of that experience. Like I enjoyed going to LA to see Kendrick because mm-hmm. I had wanted to see him in his city and everything like that. And it was a great time. Like just feeling that energy, right. seeing him in his hometown, just that whole just like vibe was amazing. But if I go or if like we did like, 10,000 listens in a week. I'd be excited about that. That's right. that's mm-hmm. pretty. But other than that, like, if it's not real, I don't give a fuck about it. Me going to see a movie is not exciting. Yeah. It's just an experience. Yeah. I yeah. enjoyed it. That's what it is to me. It's just an experience. <laughs> okay. And it's not like I don't enjoy life like that. What makes you not enjoy life is people telling me that I'm not excited and then them fucking with my, my happiness. Like, I'm happy and having a good time. And Don't the fact that you are upset because I'm not expressing it the way that you want me to, now you're creating an issue which is bringing my happiness and enjoyment down. Mm-hmm. You're the reason this is no longer fun for me. You. Not the situation. You. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me be happy <laughs> the way I want to be happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was happy till you started talking to me, motherfucker. <laughs> Facts, though. <laughs> Straight happy as a motherfucker. Having a great time. Smiling, laughing. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey man, I, yeah, I just hate it so much sometimes. Like it's just, I, I don't like having to like. I j- I just don't care sometimes about a lot of shit. So it's like me trying to like people was like, oh, let's do this. All right, you don't want to do it. You ain't got to do it. I I didn't say I'm I ain't want to do it. I just said I said okay. That's the worst thing. I hate, I hate that. <laughs> when people say if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. I feel like everybody knows Tony well enough to know that Tony's going to tell you no. Mm-hmm. Like, if Tony doesn't establish one thing with you, it's boundaries very quickly. I don't like this, and I'm not doing that. No, I don't want to. But then... Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. My next issue comes in. It's like, well, realistically, I don't care if I do it or not. Mm-hmm. So it's not about whether I want to do it or not. So what I had to learn is I got to stop <laughs> answering the question that people ask me and answer the question that people want to me to answer. Because people ask me, do you want to do this? The answer to that question is I don't care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What you want to ask me is will you do this with me? The answer to that question is yes. Hmm. Yeah. But so I had to stop taking people literally. <laughs> Could they be like, do you want to do this? No, I don't really care about it. We can. Well, I don't want to do it if you don't want to do it. Then say I did want to. I just don't. It's whatever. And then now you it's a whole thing it? about yes. me not Come being on, excited. Let's go. Yes, let's and, go. Right, yes. So do Come you on. want to do it? You ain't got to go. Come on. Well, I don't want go. you to do it just because <laughs> I want to do it. I never said that I didn't want to do it. Um, I answered the question that you asked me because this wasn't my idea. And since it wasn't naturally my idea... I don't care about it. Mm. But if it's something that you want to do, I want to do it because you want to do it. And I like being with you. I don't give a fuck about this. But I like being with you. Mm-hmm. So let's go do this. It's going to make you happy. I like seeing you happy. We're going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with the event for me. Because I don't care about that. But will I do it with you? Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm very sp- So when people ask me, do you want to do this? How do you feel about that? I don't. <laughs> I don't feel. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel care. about lots of things, just yeah. not that. Just not that. <laughs> that shit don't matter to me. It's a good chance that that's not even nowhere like, near what I'm thinking. The about. worst <laughs> question for me is, what do you want to go eat? Uh, I don't want to eat. The well, end. How the fuck do you engage with a bitch and you don't like to eat? What do y'all do? Or you just find the hot dog on the menu, like? <laughs> no, we'll go out to eat. I'll order. I'm just not gonna eat everything on my plate. I'm gonna eat what oh. I want, and I'm gonna throw the rest of that shit away. And I'm like, you waste. And I'm like, I pay for it. Mm-hmm. And that's generally the end of that conversation. And then like, you don't eat a lot. I don't be hungry. Mm. So then we kick it in and we hang out. I'm gonna order what I want to order. I might eat. I might not. I'll make sure that I order something. Because I learned very early on that sitting there across the table from a girl while she's eating doesn't make her comfortable. Mm-hmm. She feels fat. Yep. Why are you just watching me eat? I'm not. I 
also I'm not hungry though And you wanted to go out to eat And I was like Cool we can go kick it And go out and Grab something to eat the only time I can guarantee That I will know Where I want to go eat If I'm going out With somebody mm-hmm. Cause then I'm Planning what I'm doing Outside of that Whatever What do you want to eat More or less Cause I'll probably just eat From wherever you eat Cause I'm not a picky eater mm-hmm. So And see I'm the exact opposite I'm an extremely picky eater But Since I'm so picky I've developed the talent of being able to order at least one thing off of any menu. Mm. I can get me something to eat wherever we go. We can go mm. to the fish spot. Tony gonna get him some fries. <laughs> Guarantee they got fries and chicken tenders. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. About to have me some fries and chicken tenders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Give me that ketchup, put a little hot sauce. Mm-hmm. Boom. Five star restaurant. Tony eating fries and chicken tenders. <laughs> God damn right. You like fish, baby. You got it. I don't want none of that. <laughs> But this is where you want to go. So, we here. Okay. So, that, it don't matter to me. I mm. <laughs> Okay, don't look at me like, why would you ask? Go get a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at with it. Milkshakes. No shakas. What was the question about the good dick thing? Oh, I think good dick is better than a uh, good pussy. Cause why? Good dick be having women do crazy shit. Like, good dick let. I get a chick to let you move into her apartment mm-hmm. with her when you ain't got no job. Mm-hmm. Ain't talked about putting in on rent. Mm-hmm. Sleeping in her bed. Mm-hmm. She wake up every morning, go to work. You wake <laughs> up and you sit on her couch and eat food. Mm-hmm. You come home. Y'all might argue a little bit, but at the end of the night, you going to give her some good dick. Mm-hmm. Before she go to sleep. And she going to be all right. Mm-hmm. And that might last. And that could last you for a whole year. <laughs> and you know the worst thing? It's like it's like right before she go to sleep, for you hit that reset button, months. boom. Now she take a whole another day of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> reset button, boom. A whole another day of bullshit. <laughs> it's when for you stop hitting that year. reset button is when shit gets fucked oh, up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta keep hitting the reset button. <laughs> Yeah, so unless they start getting friends and then they start be like, you know what, this dick eventually they'll be like, you know, it's not worth it. But you can as long as you're not causing too many problems, you can finesse with some yeah. good dick for at least a year in a bitch house. See, niggas fuck up. They fuck up when they start causing issues. They want to get comfortable and act like it's their house now. Ooh. But see, and good then they pussy get lazy. is not going to make me keep you around. No. I think he said that in that book. He said that uh, women, uh, sex is obviously means something different for both of us. Mm-hmm. We are... Sex makes us feel like the same thing was like, oh, if you make a girl laugh, then you got her. Same thing with good dick. If it just feels good, <laughs> we're going to be gung ho for that shit and we're thinking all types of stupid shit. But sex for y'all is like chocolate. Like the Snickers bar was great. Yeah. And Snickers bar could be your favorite, but there's also Kit Kats. Kit Kats like, are tasty. Look. I get kicked on like I'm on what Butterfingers right now. I'm be on Butterfingers for like a month. Yeah, and then and you I'm might... not gonna touch me for like <laughs> two years. <laughs> it don't mean the same thing for y'all. It's just the, right. it's just something to like, do. It was cool at the moment. Now I'm bored because it's the same. You thing. know who we gonna keep around? Hmm. The woman that's convenient. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta be more than just pussy. Your pussy couldn't might be average, but you convenient like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we gonna argue because that's normal shit. But I know what the argument's gonna be. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be like uh, you know how you used to play Grand Theft Auto mm-hmm. two, and you just put in the cheat code, and so you still playing Grand Theft Auto, but you already know what you about to do for the day. You might get a couple <laughs> of warnings, but you just gonna hit this code real quick, and then all the stars gonna disappear. And <laughs> if you need to, you hit the little code. You got all the weapons you need. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with that chick, like. She might get upset, but you already know the code to get her back down to where she need to be at. Like, there's nothing really outside of the scope. And right. you're really not trying to take this nowhere. But it's convenient right now. Like, the shit is cool. Like, this isn't really fucking with anything that I got going on in a mm-hmm. negative way. Yeah, so this, yeah. Yeah, you hear. That's it, though. Like, y'all saying convenient. Like, do you keep a convenient bitch around to, like... Not help you move forward in the way where, like, she's momming your shit to help you, you move forward. You don't make shit hard. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what convenient means. Like, you, you a female presence that doesn't irritate my soul. Yeah, like, <laughs> I can spend a long period of time shit. with you mm-hmm. and not hate you. Right. right. And so, that's big for me. And so, now that I can do that, and... You nag, but women gonna nag. Yeah. And you don't nag about none of the shit that I can't, like, mm-hmm. 
talk away and it's just bullshit. Right? It don't ever really get like too too real because we in you comfortable doing this with me because this makes you feel good. Mm-hmm. We kick it. We see each other on a consistent basis. I'm fucking with you. You fucking with me. We lay up. We spend a majority of our free time together. And that's what we consistently do. I don't have no problem calling you my girlfriend. You're going to be fine with this situation for a while. You're not going to say not one shit because realistically you think this is going somewhere. Mm -hmm. No, I like this. This is what this is. This is how niggas end up in situations where they just be with a bitch. And, and she really like, be with a bitch for like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's, see, I think that's different. That's a cut. See, I think When you're that, saying this convenient thing, did you make a commitment towards this girl to be monogamous towards her in this convenient no, it's situation? No, not, not, not even necessarily that. It's like, no? this is female you've been messing with. And like, I haven't seen like a whole lot of old head like niggas. It's like you have female, you've been talking to this female for like 15 years. Y'all is never consistent. Y'all never just like relationship on, off. Some Y'all might have been in a relationship at some point. Y'all not in a relationship, but mm-hmm. y'all never stop fucking with each other. Y'all do whatever y'all do, but y'all always fucking with each other. Mm-hmm. And y'all always bounce back to each other. Y'all might go off, oh, she with somebody right now. I'm single, or I'm with somebody right now. Oh. And okay. sit like that, but y'all always bounce back to each other. No matter what the fuck happens, y'all always swing oh. back around. You, y'all been with that person, you been fucking with that person like 15 well, see, years. Y'all ain't even got to have kids. No see, shit. I don't look at that as convenient. No? So That's why I'm trying me, to get your definition. And what's for convenient? that, what I look at that is like is we fuck with each other, mm-hmm. but we haven't matured to a point where we really reconcile the issues that we have with each other. Mm-hmm. And so we don't know how to reconcile those. So we just keep, we know we want to be together. But we also aren't emotionally intelligent. To know how to get past these spots. So we keep uh, engaging, keep breaking, keep engaging, keep breaking. Because we never really get past these issues. But we love each other, we care, and we want to be involved with each other. Okay. So that's what we do. So I think that's the difference. Because if you're doing it for 15 years, I feel like that's what you you want to do that. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like... not a thing they don't want to be around. Oh, no, but see, for me, I feel like the nigga that, like, if I'm fucking with you out of convenience, mm-hmm. I want to be doing this for right now. But it's like I dated a lot of women out of convenience while I was in Seattle, Mm -hmm. especially like the last girlfriend I had, like a little crazy. I didn't really see that going anywhere, Mm -hmm. but there's nothing realistically that you're going to do that's outside of like my scope of handling. You're going to trip you. It's little bullshit arguments, everything. It's going to be whatever. It's like it's never going to be like no real issue that's going to be outside of like what I can deal with. And we have a good time together. I enjoy your personality. And the sex is cool. Mm-hmm. So, and it's consistent. So now I have consistent sex. I don't have to really work for this. Mm-hmm. I already know what the issues are going to be. So, I, again, I don't really have to work for this. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have a pretty decent time. And you're going to be cool because I already fuck with you. So, yeah, I'm going to stay in this until I'm not in this mode no more. And then when I'm in a different mode to, like, I'm about to, like, shake and make some things really move, then I'm going to go in that direction, and you're probably not going to be going with me. Because you're not convenient for that. You were convenient for this. But this ain't that. Okay. Yeah, that makes moment. sense. Because I don't see you as, like, my growth partner. I see you as the person that I was enjoying this with. I was... I was having fun and finding myself. Mm-hmm. So that's what we did together. We had fun while I found who I was. And I think a lot of women get caught up in that phase with a guy and they think that they're moving somewhere and the guy feels like they were enjoying this time together and what they had right now. And then that's over. And then oh. we'll be like, oh, you wasted my time. Y'all look at it as a waste of time and he looks at it as like he had experiences. Mm-hmm. It was an experience. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what I think of as like me engaging like I'm just like consistent with you but I don't like you convenient cause you don't really cause no issue that's like you're not gonna like since you already feel like we, we're already in a relationship like I don't mind calling you my girlfriend realistically at this point right. <clears throat> cause it's convenient so 
you not pressuring me for like, oh, what are we, how are we moving forward? Everything that we're doing right now at this moment is perfectly fine, which is fucking going out to eat occasionally, sitting up watching TV, laid up watching Netflix, fucking going to work. Watching TV, yeah, right. kicking it, me focused on what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Fucking I'm definitely going to work. Definitely we not really building towards nothing. What are we? We I've had a few in the moments. Having like engaged on anything that's like, all right. So where are we going to be down five years down the road? How are we going to be equally invested in this situation and pulling our both our weights and moving the uh, as a unit? We not engaging in any of those conversations. We're not really. Like, but I'm still, I'm also the type of nigga that, like, no matter who I'm fucking with, I'm mm-hmm. going to try and build you up. Because I just don't right. like to see you, like, like, I just don't fuck with people that are, like, yeah, it don't make no sense to me. Like, if I'm fucking with you, I'm going to give you that. But I'm never really going to make it, like, I'm like, I think you should get this, you should get an apartment. Like, but I'm always framing it in things that you should do for independence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's never framed in things that you do, like, in service to me. Hmm. You know, yeah, like I used to tell a little crazy. You should get a job. You should be in school. You should get an apartment so that yeah, way you can own your own things. You can own your own things and feel like you're not dependent on anybody, not even me. Like I'm clearly, mo- I'm moving you out of the house. You don't know it. It sound- it feels like independence, which it is, but it's also liberation from you for me. I'm breaking up. <laughs> Once this transition is gone, cool. Or I'm gonna eventually just be done with the situation. Because I don't see it as a forever thing. It's right now. And the only thing better than good pussy is new pussy. Mm-hmm. And new pussy is always new pussy. Facts. And that's why niggas don't care about good pussy because they're always curious about good new pussy. Mm-hmm. Like, well, that shit could be better. <laughs> well, <don't laughs> that like. well, I, I, facts, though. Like, that is a bit. <laughs> I just want to know what it's like. <laughs> that's all it is. That's all I it ever is. I just want to know More what it's like. in trouble just because they're curious. Yeah, because they want to know what it's just like. Just because of the just, human condition of curiosity. I want to know what it's like. I, I, I don't care about it. Because right like now. you said, it's like a candy bar to us. Like we not, It's not that big of a deal, but I just want to know what it's like. Mm-hmm. It's like, I, this is new. What you call it? Candy bar that they came out with. I'm just trying to, to try this. <laughs> yeah. I might not even like it. Yeah, but I just wanted to try it. I just want to know what it was like. Wake up the next morning like, that was trash. <laughs> Go about my business. <laughs> I'm not gonna have try that no more. Not That's a bad candy anymore. bar. Oh, <laughs> nasty ass what you call it? Can't eat those witch call it. Never this? Again. right. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was really funny. I I, I found it really funny because I didn't hear about like I've never heard niggas complain about pussy mm-hmm. until I got older. Like when I was younger, it was always females complaining. Oh, this nigga got a little dick. Da, 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 da. But when I got older, when I was like hit my twenties, mm-hmm. that's when I started hearing niggas complain. That bitch has some trash pussy. I'm like, huh? What the fuck is trash what pussy? Is trash what is pussy? bad pussy since we've already what? talked about what good pussy is? And then I learned and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I trash get it. <laughs> it's like. All right. And it was like, I, it was just so dog, weird to me because you never hallway. really heard it. Yeah. It's like yeah, you never just, really heard people ever talk about yeah, like, it. A chick yeah. can have no walls for real, like, mm-hmm. which is the weirdest shit. It's like after you get past the entrance, it's just like you fall into this cavity. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it's just it's empty. It's, it's like, sticky, it's, it's like it, it'd be like the equivalent of me doing like this, and it's yeah. like nothing there. Like yeah. my hands just wide this open. Is and it. It's like it's like <laughs> it's like if I could move my dick like a finger, it'd be like, what's in here? What, where where where'd you go? Where, where'd you? What's happening? Just say where'd you go? Yeah. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? No fucking body. <laughs> it's like a hole in the wall. It's like nothing else is there. It's like. Huh. And then I would say right. if women aren't sexually confident and mm-hmm. they don't know their bodies. Okay. Bitch, don't tell me that you you wet or your pussy is like waterfalls mm-hmm. and it's like the fucking Sahara. It's like a mud pad. <laughs> no, it's like the Sahara. Help. I think it's like, like even if you aren't turned on like you need to know that it takes 20 minutes of some foreplay to get your pussy wet that's how that's that's standard times for vagina warming up mm-hmm. i know that if you don't know that i mean you've been fucking with trash niggas so you just so you just telling me this shit wet because that's what you've been hearing and this shit is yep. not good now i'm upset with you because mm-hmm. you tricked me oh this shit's super wet right now come and get this so i'm thinking i'm about to dive into the fucking ocean because you just so excited and this shit is like sandpaper. I'm upset with you. <laughs> I was like, 
Because I want to go to wall. And it's so just, ah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly upset. I, I didn't want this. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I didn't want this. I didn't ask for this. You offered it I'm to me. I'm a fucking victim. Then, How dare you? <laughs> yeah, because you. I feel like you finessed me. You told me it was one thing and it was something different. How oh, dare yeah. you, you dirty, filthy whore. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, no. So I for me, it's like <laughs> loose, smelly. Yeah, like. All vaginas have their own scent, yeah. but it can't be like an odor. Smelly, you know? okay. I have a really sensitive stomach that smells. Like I can look at anything; it can be the most terrible looking shit in the world. I mm-hmm. can look at it. I can't smell it though. <laughs> like I like it, mm, my nose is real sensitive to smells. I don't know. Maybe that's the sense that my body was like, "Hey, you can't see, so maybe your nose need to be better." I don't feel like that was a good kind of like you know holdover, but like. Ooh. I'm really yeah, sensitive smell. to smell, so no, you can't handle. No, no. That shit is horrible. Mm-hmm. I pick up little sense of things in the air. It can be the faintest of smells. I'm gonna smell that shit too. I'm like, <laughs> but that is that horse shake. Um, yeah, looseness and smell is really just pretty like the trash. Important. Mm-hmm. And then like. On for one off chicks, I'm gonna grade you pretty harshly on you not knowing how to fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, now, if I fuck with you and you don't know how to fuck, I don't really care about that because I'm about to teach you. Yeah. Like, we're going to have, but, like, if I just met together. you and it's about to be, like, a, like tonight and then I'm probably not going to hit it no more, your fucking skills are all in judgment. And <laughs> if they're not up to par, that was whack. She just laid there. She was all limp and shit. <laughs> I could do whatever I wanted, but she was just... I can't do nothing. Flaccid no body. Right. The fucking robot. Let me move. <laughs> <laughs> get up. <laughs> what can I get some action? Like <laughs> that should be the worst. Like, right. but I think that come from the bitches that are used to fuck with like hyper aggressive niggas that don't care what you doing. They just trying to like fuck you no matter what. Yeah, mm-hmm. bitch, and they bitch, just like, or I'm they dealt with the niggas <laughs> that like are instantly like horny as soon as you like naked and like there's no like mental stimulus mm-hmm. that those niggas are they just like no i just want to fuck you no i don't i'm no <laughs> if you don't just lay there like that i'm gonna be real bored yeah no nah, no nah. so i need you so Action. trash pussy is way more than just it's that it's the whole thing it's like yeah. you're not good at sex <laughs> Get a fucking F. Like, right, cause I'm pretty sure trash dick don't mean that the dick is just like little, or it mean no. he can't stroke. He ain't he ain't doing anything that he needed to do to get you where you was trying to go. Like, nigga, you don't know what the fuck you doing. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that trash pushy is pretty much the same. It's just like you sexually aren't good, so you got trash pushy. <laughs> it's yeah. Oh, average. Like, I wonder if trash dick like is that does that develop between each woman like what's your definition i'm about to ask because i know what my trash dick experiences are like and i'm trying to think if it's like even across the board because oh, it's definitely been i mean i guess it, it I, I guess it kind of depends on your sexual preference though too as a female in yeah. some other sense i don't know guys got the same general like trash pussy we both said that that shit is like the wall that your dick falls through we don't want that <laughs> So they might have some similar like. Yeah, I mean, like I'm that. Still pretty sure they got like similar things that go across the oh, board, but I'm pretty sure like differentiates between certain women, though. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. I feel like I guys think, are just like they... real simple. So we like a this, this, and that. That determines trash pussy, right? Bet. We bought our business. <laughs> have you ever known any woman to do anything we're not gonna crazy have a, for good dick? We're not gonna get into anything a, crazy for good dick. Oh man. Which one of your friends let a nigga move in? Eat all they snacks. <laughs> all they baby oh kids. God. All they baby food. I'm trying to think. All their kids' Fruit Loops. <laughs> of things. I don't think I've ever known another female. I've known me <laughs> with the things I've done. So I wasn't really aware. Because like I said, it was based off how a man made me feel. You like, stay in a relationship way too fucking long. Way too fucking long because of that and you don't really know that's been my fuck something i've been guilty of uh oh, because it was some good dick 
right and i didn't know that's why <laughs> yeah i didn't know that's why i was there i was like i don't know like, why, why? <laughs> what like, is this about you that i can't oh uh, every time you fuck me i just i feel, feel so much better I, like, <laughs> I don't know why i'd be tripping with you i think i had like a weirdo addiction to make up sex and didn't know it that was like my thing like the passion that would go into that and then the makeup passion that went into making up sex was my weirdo addiction oh that was weird strange but um i'll say that's the things that made me i don't think i've ever seen another maybe i just didn't recognize it in another female but i definitely understand what you're saying sure, i've seen it <laughs> you want to share a story marcus <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Actually, protect their names. Protect their names. <laughs> Unless you don't Earlier care. On. Unless you real. Take this podcast to the next level, Marcus. <laughs> no, no, we ain't put names out there. But Come on. No, Am I going to be the only one taking the podcast to the well, next no, level? Well, no, why don't y'all talk about how y'all gave good dick and then you watched her behavior change? That's what Look, I, I want to see. Hold on, how hold you on. just decided? No, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, 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 no. He can go I, first. No, I, I, I want to see. What if I got though, right? trash dick? <laughs> don't I want to see. this out there Listen, on me. I got trash When I was nope. just sitting here thinking, when y'all when y'all was going back and forth with the whole trash thing, I'm like, you know... I ain't seen niggas do shit like that. Mm -hmm. Just like slide in because they can fuck real good. You know, they got good dick and the bitch just whatever this nigga do, whatever the fuck he want, da 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 da, right? I was like, man. Nope, I'm not even going to do that. Oh, so you've been, oh, so you been in that situation? <laughs> no, so where'd you slide in that, Mark? Yeah, I ain't sliding in nowhere. No, you got to tell the story. You can't, you can't, you can't just do our fans nah, nah, like yeah. that. We got listeners, nigga. You got to give the listeners All right, the content. Look, Take all right. this podcast to the next level. <laughs> get that government. No, I ain't giving no names. All I got to say. Marsha? Call her Marsha? Yeah, you fucking with Marsha? Next level. I'm a dumb and try. Marsha? Next level. You like with Marsha's now? It's okay. All right, let's call her Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Marsha Ann's. But no, for real though, the thought I was thinking about is like, I got into a situation where it wasn't even like, it wasn't even a situation that you give a good dick. Mm -hmm. It was like, I just gave good feels. Hmm. I did the same situation. I did the same thing. A nigga would do just fuck it. Oh. But. I, I wasn't. I didn't fuck my way. I was fucking, mm -hmm. but I didn't fuck my way in this situation. It was everything else. It was just being <laughs> just being there oriented yeah. that let me into the situation. I just kicked it, and I just kicked it, so I couldn't kick it no more. <laughs> and I was out. <laughs> Tony, go ahead. You still here? I the host with the motherfucking most. <laughs> don't yeah. try to. He gonna try to go invisible. The host with the motherfucking most. I don't think I ever dig my way into a situation. Yes, you ha yes, y'all have. That's why I'm mad y'all sitting here I'm like. like you're lying. Yeah, like, I'm mad you lying have. too, Tony. I haven't said anything. Tony. I, haven't I don't said think anything. I have. I wanna know. No, I'm trying to hear this now. Really? <laughs> Wasn't you living with a whole person? Who? What's her name? Don't I'm not Marsha. Yeah. <laughs> Marsha <laughs> one didn't have the attitude about you going places. Yeah, but Mar then like You talking about Marsha with the pole? Yeah. Oh, we have to, we don't talk about Marsha. That's what I was just talking yeah, about. Yeah, we do talk well, about that's, Marsha. That's how I said my way with the feelings, man. It wasn't I didn't dig her down like that to get in. It was feelings. He was digging her down. I like I said I wasn't it I was, like no. I said I didn't no, say no, no. I wasn't fucking. Her <laughs> behavior change afterwards, like I'm still gonna go. Yeah, like how did you. her behavior change from before you started giving her the dick until after? She became a whole ass wife, but we ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> Yo, time. She was like a whole ass wife. Nigga, we was going out having volume like, down. Having like <laughs> whole ass like dinners out and shit. Like, I come home like food. Like, she was damn, wife. what? Yeah. This all I had to do? All I had to do was stop smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very rebellious. Continue. Your turn. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't have I don't have good dick. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm mediocre as a bitch. I'm like mediocre. I'm average. I am oh average. God. Like stop putting these stop giving all these women these high hopes so that when I don't meet them <laughs> 
they not mad at me because y'all just, motherfuckers were like, nah, this nigga got good dick. Don't put that on me. What if I, I didn't pre- say like consistently. Hey, I want to put this out here. Disclaimer. <laughs> I just know that it, that wasn't my attention in the beginning. It just happened that way. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you had a whole situation where you know, like, let yeah, me think. I'm, I'm about to give you it. this. I'm gonna think. <laughs> and we gonna see what happens. Let me think. Let me Damn, think. we was living together for real. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Marsha. <laughs> I know. Oh. I'm going to take this podcast to the next level. Fuck it. Die. <laughs> That's who. I was back in the day, day. I don't think anybody know the fuck that was anyways, but hey. me. <laughs> yeah. All right. But, bruh. Because, you know, ratchet, hood, and completely not like an emotional chick. Just had a whole revelation. After I give her the dick, and and I'm like, now I'm consistently giving her good dick. Mm -hmm. She consistently bringing me cakes and shit every day. She come to work, like she know I work, and she knows I like a specific type of cake. Every day that cake was there. (laughs) Every like literally every day she came to work, she brought the cake with me. Mm -hmm. I could drive her car if I wanted to. I could be up in her spot like. I could have moved in. She was like, why aren't you acting like a boyfriend more and just driving my car and shit like that? Like, why am I not taking more advantage of the shit that I'm allowed to do now? That's funny. So there, that's where I noticed like an extreme difference. Before I was giving you dick, we was just cool. You was talking. Mm -hmm. We just having a cool little time. After the dick, your whole personality changed <laughs> and I see the softer you. I'm going to be honest, that switch made me want to start fucking with chicks that had an attitude. Mm. Because I love to see that change of like who you are towards other people of like, fuck y'all niggas. That's what I was just thinking about right now. That's why I have who my Who you are with me. <laughs> where it's like, but this might, I love him. <laughs> that's why, I, truthfully, that's why I loved, uh... oh, crazy bitch. Yeah, that one. Oh my god, Marcia that's why I love her so much. Cause oh. realistically, she was aggressive to everybody. But we'll call me. her a Faramosa. <laughs> what the me. fuck? She that's was not aggressive. Like some Harry Potter to, shit. No, she literally was she, like she was angry, irritated with everybody around her. But, but me, you. I was in the safe zone with the kids. Me and her kids were in her uh. safe zone. <laughs> I remember this lawyer I was hey, fucking with. Now, if you want to talk about something that got my. Uh, <laughs> Fucking got me in that situation. It kept me in that situation. I don't like her because she had issues with my bitch. Mm. That was dumb. Issues <laughs> with everybody. <laughs> no, but it was fucking the other bitch, Sakia, that wanted to fuck everything that was moving. Yep. That was creating more issues with my bitch. Because back in the days, Tony was. Oh, I was just conversational. We all worked together, so. Mm-hmm. She could get this conversation too. <laughs> My girl didn't like that. That's mm-hmm. when I. That was the only time that I ever like fuck with somebody that I work with, and it wouldn't be the last mm-hmm. for the most part. Uh, adjacent. <laughs> I've only done it twice, and both times I can say, eh, I understand why you don't normally do this, but I also see why it happens. How niggas end up like fucking because you always around this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. They in your face, you in their face. Awesome. I develop a relationship. All right, motherfucker, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, I'm like fine, shit. Yeah, like it just be that moment. You be like, it's like I can't even get away right. from you. I see you every day. You just been working at it. Yeah, yeah. like we got like, oh man, you just make that moment like, I'm like yes, shit. I'm like, hey, yeah. What, you doing tr- what is this like? <laughs> what yeah. you getting into? This I weekend? hate that. Yeah, because it's usually a chick that's like, like, all right, come on. Yeah, like, I'm gonna finally go out on. with you. Right. Yeah, cause a nigga be like, hey, we should go here, we should go there. We be shooting you the invites and Chase be giving you the silly curve and oh yeah, of course, sir. When I have some free time, all this shit that mean no, but without telling you no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then eventually, if you keep persisting at it and you work with her, she ain't got nowhere to go, nigga. Never, <laughs> don't be sexual, cause you gonna get fired. Mm-hmm. Don't be sexual. Be friendly and invite her out, cause at one time when she say yes to the invite out, she gonna give you some pussy. <laughs> She, bro, she know she, she know that that's what you've been working at. You've been mm-hmm. trying to get the pussy forever, mm-hmm. and now she's finally decided to give you some. You just gotta have a good date and not fuck it up. Right, mm-hmm. you gotta not fuck it up. And if she bring a wingman, you bring a wingman. <laughs> right, that's what I did, 
Then I tried to bring her wingman. I brought me a wingman. My wingman fucked her wingman. <laughs> and I fucked her. <laughs> bong bong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that went. That was, okay. was 19. Like, I was with the, I was immediately, I was like, oh, you bringing to someone to? She's like, yeah, that's one cool. of my friends going to come to the party too. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, I got you. Hey, I need you to, like, entertain her friend while we all out because I don't know why she brought her. <laughs> oh, fuck, she don't hear, but you know, whatever. I, I, I mean, I know what she's here for, but I, we're not going with that. <laughs> right, I've bought a contingency plan as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah. All right, this is chess, bitch. <laughs> you shouldn't have told me. She should have walked to the car. It'd have been a surprise. I'm like, oh, shit, fuck. <laughs> right. This is a this is the question. <laughs> it sounds so dry. Can I, have one of those? I don't know what happened. Don't eat all my cookies or at least save me one. All right. I just been looking at them for like the last hour. You got two. <coughs> oh, shit. Mm. But anyway. So depending on the type of chick that you deal with or how much you like her, do you give her a different type of dick? Like you about to get yes. B and I'm going to give her A. No. And I used C. to get in trouble for that. Really? How you get in trouble for that? Uh, yeah, he used to get in trouble for that. I, How you I, get in trouble for giving a girl a different funny. type? His situation no, no, no. is really funny. I should laugh every time I hear the story. <laughs> Tony wasn't giving bitches different type of dick. No, he was he giving, giving them the same. the same. They were oh. all getting grade A, you like, wife material dick. <laughs> because, like, I know how women talk, and uh-huh. y'all not about to disparage me out in these streets. <laughs> disparage? <laughs> this nigga went back to 1875. Yeah, no, you're not disparaging my fucking name. <laughs> Fuck that. No, sir, you will not. Not at all. I will not tolerate. No. So, Tony gives out Down amazing talk. dick, mm-hmm. and then that would lead Tony to situationships where bitches are like, oh, we together now. Mm-hmm. And I would not be understanding. And me and women had that <laughs> conversation of like, understand. you got to stop fucking him like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny as fuck. We was all sitting around. Me, him, and this other girl was sitting there. And like, he's trying to figure out the situation. We talking it through. And all of a sudden, it's like, what are you doing? How are you fucking these girls? I'm like, oh, yeah, I fuck them all the same. And she's like, I just said, no. homie down. <laughs> She's like, no. So you like, stop so doing you, that. So you not just hitting them off from the. Because oh. you niggas are loud. Didn't that's you what... turn up the mic? No, that's, I mean, that's. You are we guys. just loud? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're actually loud. Yeah, it's y'all niggas loud. But nah, I don't. What was that saying? They had to sit you down and have an intervention with you. Oh. <laughs> So, it's not my fault, though, like, because she was like, you're not just hitting them off in the back? No. Mm-hmm. Not for what? That's, that's boring. <laughs> she was like, you're supposed to be hitting them off in the back like you don't care. Just That's the only position they get. No kissing, no looking in the eyes when you're hitting it from the front, mm-hmm. no staring at them deeply, none of that. But that's all my shit. <laughs> like, I'll try to stare in your eyes. I'm going to grab your neck if that's what you like. Uh-huh. I'm going to put my hand behind your head if you don't like me to grab your neck. And like, I'm going to pull your face next to mine. We're going to look at each other. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to stroke you while I'm looking at you. So you know. <laughs> it was giving him. Oh yeah. So that's what I was giving him. That's the type of dick uh-huh. I was just giving everybody. The, like, come here. Let me hold you and look you in the eyes and, like, really get into this. Get in my bag every time. <laughs> I mean. I lost the whole situation because I gave out lazy dick. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, mm. I got bored. I'm like, mm. not I. I don't want this anymore. I <laughs> so we just gonna put a stop to this. No, it wasn't it was like, um, like you know how you got to be a bored because you no. just like. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I was like, how I was talking about earlier about being like limp bored. Yeah, uh-huh. the same thing. I'm like, all right, you got it, get it. <laughs> all right, cool. Got bored no, and pussy. I've never lost a situation <laughs> like that. Mm. Mm, not at all I refuse <laughs> But like I, I'm super like Shallow in that area Like you can't talk shit about it. Like I'm No <laughs> <laughs> nah. Not the way that I've heard y'all talk about Like I grew up around women Like my mother mm-hmm. Her friends and shit like that And regardless of them trying to be like As appropriate as possible Around a child You pick up shit 
you blow down. Adults have little co- quick conversations. You remember shit. And they you think that you're not as <laughs> aware of shit as you are. Mm-hmm. And even if I didn't understand what y'all was talking about then, if I remember and I... Mm, y'all niggas was wild. Y'all used to blow down oh, back in the day. I just ain't know what it was then. Yeah. So now, <laughs> hearing about... I know y'all blow down on a nigga that ain't got no good dick. Mm-hmm. He gave you some wag dick. You mad? You gonna tell your female friends about him. Definitely. And then they gonna... Now what y'all doing? Y'all laughing at this nigga. This nigga a joke. That's that female group. That so that's, shit sounds that's like crazy. a good group of like 15, 20, maybe nah. 25 females that know about you not yeah. having a good dick now. Exactly. <laughs> God damn. And it could Cause, spread. Because women are gossiping. Because yeah. <laughs> that's, that's her friend group. And the uh, friend okay. group's going to talk. I'm like, oh, you, you heard about what Sharon did? You're going to tell your best friend, and your best friend going to run her mouth to mm-hmm. your other friend that yep. can't keep her mouth shut. Mm-hmm. And then y'all three going to be talking about it. And then y'all going to have a girls' night. And y'all gonna be just talking about niggas, and then the niggas with ain't no good dick gonna come up, cause y'all gonna wanna have a good laugh category. once y'all get drunk. And then y'all gonna bring up all the niggas with trash dick, and now I'm gonna be in that category. So anytime y'all talk about niggas with trash dick, now I get brought no, 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 no. up. It's just no. a little bit further, cause then it's like, all right, now you out with that one friend. It's for y'all that know about trash dick, the one friend that don't, and that nigga walk by. Now that one friend know about it. She gonna tell all her friends. That's another 25 to 30 females right there that know that you got trash dick. <laughs> 25 to 30. The statistics just keep rising. Hey, 30, 60, 90. Now you at 100. <laughs> 100 bitches. No, about my dick. All right. At least I came with a C plus. I got to leave this state. <laughs> yeah, but yes, yeah, so I know. For me, it was always like, I want to give like that intentional, like, mm. I'm trying to like put babies in you and like. It, not even like saying it like I'm just trying to give you that, that like whole you the rest vibe. of my life yeah like I'm definitely like staring in your eyes I you like that to I, everybody I used to yeah that's why the nigga was having issues in his life yeah I had to have a whole conversation with this nigga and somebody else it was like why are you doing that why not isn't this a, no, just how you supposed to do it yeah. not to everyone <laughs> you know what type of dick you have <laughs> So I got to be trash. I bet. <laughs> that's hilarious. But no, that's it for me. Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything else. Me neither. But this was a great show. Yeah, you niggas is hilarious. <laughs> I guess. I don't know why. <laughs> I I don't think that I should have to give out bad dick, but I'm not giving out good dick no more. You I don't even, I don't even in. got good dick. I got mediocre. I got grade C. Yeah, here's my ending note. Plus. I'll try if it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, I got grade C plus dick. C plus. Maybe. He just got his own marketing. C plus dick here, guys. Yep, C plus. That's, that's what I got. So if you want some average, you can fuck with me. I can't brag about my pussy. Sorry, guys. I don't. I don't know what goes on down there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and that has been the conscious reconstruction show. <laughs> no bragging about pussy. Out of here. My All pussy. Right. Okay. <laughs> Specifically. Ash's pussy. Don't brag about it. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye.